how how you started right now, didn't you? Uh, welcome to uh, tier list grenade edition. It's been uh, it's like an, we've never done a serious grenade tier list, and so it is long overdue. Um, <sighs> Especially with the new grenades being a, a funky new addition. Um, Do you know what else is long overdue? Spoiler, spoiler alert, you won't like it. Tom is here. Um, special guest. No, not. Special um, guest. <laughs> uh, special in the other term that people don't like. I'm not, I'm not, I'm like not speaking, revealing myself so you guys don't know I'm here and I'm going to randomly appear. Yeah. At some point. If we need a, a third. <sighs> Um, shittier take will summon him from the depths of hell. It's yeah. basically, but, but, but I'm also I also might be there. Well, you might want to talk about the be. scout grenades because they're at least ones you're first with, right? Um, yeah, I've used all of them. Yeah. So, and they'll be they'll be the last one of each each. Um, we can't use the term gens for grenades because it doesn't work. But like tears, I guess would be the word. Um, so yeah, uh, I think we should just start because there's. I don't think there's anything else we need to say, Harry. Um. Well, uh, I need to. Um. Uh. Hold on. Grenade that the, the engineer gets. Because that's lure, right? Yeah. Uh, and that's that's the one you start off. Yeah. It's a bit weird. Yeah, it sets um, a weird precedent, doesn't it? It makes you think you're um. Makes you think you're not going to do anything. With your grenades, yeah, doesn't it? <laughs> it really <laughs> which, does. Uh, it really paints a poor picture. Yeah, which I think is a very apt introduction to yeah lure. Um, Let's introduce a new tier. It's called L for lure because it's an L. It takes an L. Um, lure is definitely one of the grenades that needs buffing the most, which means I mean, just inherently put it in C out the gate, right? At, yeah, well, I don't mind about that. Well, this is, a, this is, I think we immediately need to go into the discussion of whether or not it's actually the worst grenade, because we know it's weak. It, it's weak, right? We know it's weak. It, yeah. it, it has a purpose. I don't think it's actually that it could be, it could be worse than what it does. I think half of it is missing though, basically. I think when you when you look at the destructive, the sheer destructive power of the rest of the grenades, the lure would still be balanced if it was a draw things in and kill them grenade, but it's not. It just draws things in. It doesn't kill anything. Um, yeah. and it should. Uh, 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 the 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 breach cutter uh, uh, spitting bullshit. Sure, but is that a good enough reason? To use it, considering other grenades would just kill what them on their that? own, right? Then, then, it, then it works. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. But it lasts longer. <laughs> yeah, it lasts it longer, depends. Tom, because it doesn't ex explode immediately and deal it, damage. It, it just dances. It, it gets sturdy. I mean, <laughs> realistically, lure is probably going to run out the second quickest. I think, like, if enough enemies are on there, only plasma burster is going to end quicker than it. If you know what I mean, like even if the like uh, proximity mines are constantly have enemies on them, it will still take longer to deactivate than uh, like the maximum enemies a lure can activate. Really, right? Like it could last like no time at all, given the right circumstance. Um, it feels like it, it feels like it has these um, safeguards to stop it from being overpowered that it really doesn't need. I'd say the only one that makes sense is the fact that it has like a cap to how many enemies it can attract. Even that should probably be raised, but it probably shouldn't um, take literally think, everything away. But the fact that it can be... I think the mere fact that it can be destroyed by enemies is kind of weird. I, would, I wouldn't mind that, though, if it actually weird. had like a, a Kafaun's effect, where it, it just electrocuted everything that touched it, but it yeah, doesn't. But, it, which, it, it's like so many things like that. In the, like, the logic of have it having a cap makes sense, except for the fact that it breaking does the same thing, right? Because... It being able to be broken um, means that there's only going to be so many enemies that can attack it, right? Because it will get destroyed. So either it should be destroyed, but it should have no caps. So obviously it can it can go as many as it possibly wants to, um, but they will destroy it. Like so, that would be like a short window, but it would be a, a, a window of complete vulnerability, basically. Yeah, I feel like that might be too extreme for like just a, the first grenade you get, though, and it might be like people might be confused axes 
We'll get to that, but but. Well, but, I might sorry. agree. Uh, yeah, but I might I might say the same thing. Well, no, I wouldn't say the what? same thing. Yeah, well, you said yeah. we'll get to that. Yeah, but like it's just, just the fact that like laws, just they're just not. They're just at, at no point in time are they the best grenade uh, for you to be using ever for engineer. Um, it doesn't help that his other options are just incredibly strong. Um, he has very very good grenades and laws. Mm. I don't. think that's the main problem, though. That's the main problem to me. I think it, Engineer has pretty good firepower, especially when you consider the existence of turrets. I think sometimes your teammates are going to appreciate the uh, the, the, the uh, softening of the, the hell that they are facing. It is, yeah. it's, not, it's not often unwelcome. At the same time... It's, Compare it, it to all the others. They just, dis they just disappear. They don't yeah. really get much done, do they? And that's kind of the problem. Um, it, it, it is literally. It is a, I think it should exist, but just it's not. It's underpowered. Yeah. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's just it is just underpowered. I think it could be fantastic, but it's it's not. <laughs> I think if anything, it could have been and should have been the best thing for engineer because it's slightly interesting, right? Like plasma burster, while obviously being a very mechanically interesting grenade is still the closest grenade the engineer has right it goes it's momentum a, and gravity yeah it has a lot it of has been more we'll see, charges. yeah we'll get more to that later utilizing but them like, make it it is good and bad yeah it is still just a grenade that you throw and it kills enemies right then and there basically um which is like yeah. that's generally that's like the simplest that or was the simplest but it's like engineers grenades are it's interesting damage. Like, generally and i think the law is that but it's just only interesting and it loses it it's it does not provide enough killing potential unlike the other ones and it does not make up for it in utility um and so despite being probably the most interesting and most engineered grenade i would honestly say um that tied with like proximities um it just falls really far behind and i think it could go down to d's the more we fell out this list um because I'm not sure there is a grenade that is is just inherently the worst pick um, in the game, uh, but we'll see. I think uh, it's still. Well, yeah, bear in mind, Tom. It's in it comparison to other grenades. Is, like, often is is his lack of being able to get out of sticky situations. Yeah, Dash but, can solve that, but yeah, but without does, Dash, does work even his only equipment that, that actually. Yes, kind of, not really. You would have to throw, bit... like, two to guarantee safety, right? It's, it's a bit, it's no, no, a bit no, risky on. on whether or not it's actually going to collect them as well, because sometimes yeah. they just don't fucking run towards it for no reason, and you're like, cool. This comes back to the safeguards, you know, the safeguards to stop it from being overpowered that they gave it, and why they don't make sense. The fact that it, it's not, it doesn't, it's not very good against things that are already targeting you. In fact, it has a very low chance to actually turn the attention away of something that's already targeting you. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's just like... I, no, I, it's not I, really going to save you. That's really fucking annoying when like, you throw a lure down and they just still keep attacking you and your lure's like, right next to you. Yeah, and then even then, the ones that are attacking the lure, nothing's going to happen to them other than being slightly delayed. Like, it's just slightly delaying them from coming to then get you after. Because they're not going to get killed by it, right? And they're going to probably destroy it pretty quickly if there's enough of them. Like, it is a light and a very light um, stutter effect to a horde. Like, that's all it provides. Meanwhile, yeah. proximities, plasmas, shredders, they will clear the horde, given the opportunity. Um, very close enough, the plasmas will just tear to pieces. Uh, proximity, give it a moment, but then it will start going. And the shredders are too strong, but we'll get to that later. Um, but yeah, I think Lures is undeniably the worst uh, grenade for uh, Engineer, and I think everyone agrees to that, I think. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I, I don't think it, it's not completely devoid of um, place in the game, but that doesn't mean it's good enough. It doesn't mean it's good, and it's not. It doesn't earn the... Well, okay, so obviously the lure does do damage, but for the purpose of conversation, it doesn't, right? Because I need to say this. It doesn't earn the fact that it doesn't deal damage, which is why it even needs to be changed to earn it, or it just needs to deal damage. <laughs> it just... 
Yeah. It even it even does need to be like what you say, right? Like it would be that every time they attack it, they get electrocuted, and like maybe it's stun. So it would take them a lot longer to destroy it because every time they attack, it, they have to give a second, right? Instead of it just attacking, 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 and all the enemies are attacking just as they normally would, it's like stuttered. It would last longer with the same amount of enemies on it if they were lightly jolted. Plus. If they can make it so, if they hit it enough times, like one or two times maybe, when it destroys, that second electricity would kill them, right? So I imagine the final explosion. I imagine the final explosion should be like um, turret EM discharge. Uh, it could be like the the the, uh, the 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 symbol monkey. That's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's definitely it's supposed it to be. The, like but it blows up. Yeah, except, explodes at the end. Yeah, except that it, it does explode at the end, but it's a pathetic thing. I think it is. Can we turn it into? Hold it on. Exploded at the it. end. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, um, did you ever use the G strike? Did you ever use the G strike from Origins? Um, I, no. I, it's I, essentially I an upgraded version of the monkey, or it, it goes in that slot, and it does the same thing, except it calls in an air strike. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Maybe well, we think, could get that. <laughs> I think lore getting destroyed is like your shield breaking electricity charge on the like the armor rig bot. I think that's about that, right? Uh, that that seems to be a, do about the same amount of fuck all, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, it, it's just it needs to be better at something than it is right now. Either be able to actually pull a hold of more enemies, right? So it actually feels a lot more significant, or kills them the ones that it does pull a hold of. Mm. Just actually killing them, um, because it damages them, sure, but that doesn't fucking do anything. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, it sounds like it should be in detail, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does, and I think I'm not sure what else we would put in in detail. Exactly. So... That's the thing. I, you know, we 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 could wait, right? Because it's the first yeah. grenade, right? So it feels like it might not be appropriate, which is why I think we probably should leave it in C tier for now. Well, no, I think we leave it in D, and then we see if uh, we find something worse than it, and then we'll move that, and we'll move the lore up. Um, Spoilers! <laughs> because... um, I, I Actually, I don't know. I don't really know, yeah. to be honest. I'm not 100% sure. Um, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. I don't is know, that, actually. I'm that... not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, Tom and people... Well, we'll put it in the holding area. area. Um, grenade. Um, people can it's... see it. Yeah, I, I, I don't... I don't like many of Gunner's grenades, in all fairness. Um, I think they're it's all great. so simple. Great is amazing. I think it is technically one of the best, though, with the new one being a bit in the air. Um, but, like... Cut it... that shit out right now. <laughs> Sticky grenade is yeah. easily the worst gunner grenade. Um, oh. For so many reasons. It's like... It, it, it doesn't have a leg up because it has more um, capacity at all. Because... It's it it simply doesn't provide anything that Gunner doesn't already have. It's not even impressive crowd clear. It, it doesn't it doesn't like cover that area. If you put all your like if you spec only into single target damage on both your primary and your secondary, you're not gonna be happy that you've got sticky grenades as your source of crowd clear, um, personally. The only thing it's really good at is turning Praetorians around. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Six opportunities to just ruin a Praetorian. Yeah, that's one of these. Because you see a Praetorian coming towards you, like they're always an issue. But you just throw a sticky, they'll instantly turn around, and now you can just, just fucking just empty your ev everything into their ass and yeah. kill them instantly. I will say it is fun because you can do that with um any enemy, I guess that can be feared. Therefore, you can sort of enact the um the Glyphid suicide bomber. Uh, rage regime. <laughs> if you yeah, throw it, I like, think... like the the grunt that's closest to you, if you throw the sticker in it, he'll run back into the horde and, and do stuff. So it's not terrible, but it is very very basic. And obviously that that arguably does come up for the others. But the reason why the other three. Um, they sort of have a conceptual leg up for me, first of all, because the sticky grenade is kind of nothing. But the other three are literally a trinity of all of Gunner's um, components piled into grenades, which is just explosions, fire, and bullets. And then the sticky grenade is sort of left as, like, the basic... It's the most starter grenade-feeling one, in my opinion. That's the thing. Because um, the other I... three almost feel united, and the sticky grenade is, like, just, like, basic 
bag grenade. My issue is is that when I think about it, um, and I have not used a lead burster like as much as I probably should have, but when I when it comes down to it, I prefer sticky grenade significantly more than the cluster. Hmm. If I want area, I'm using fire and maybe giving the lead burster a try because I know the lead burster is probably better than the cluster because I find the cluster horrifically unreliable. Um, but we'll get more into that later. But my point is, is if we're putting the sticky grenade down to C, I am going to be fighting for the cluster to go down there with it um, because I cannot in good faith think that the sticky grenade is not equal to the cluster um, in in just helpfulness and power. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think if C is fine because, yeah, generally I have a pretty bad standpoint on his grenades i think they're the least useful least impactful part of his kit um but yeah uh, you just yeah i think c is fine but it will come back to bite you if you actually think that it's the worst because i don't think it is um hmm. well the reason why i don't think it's good is because if you have any kind of crowd clearing any any weapon that you could be I, mean, I guess not the burke because you can't do that but at all or any of your weapons it's probably going to outperform what the sticky grenade does the other yeah, three the, the other three all clear. inherently yeah exactly so what is it though it's the direct damage direct damage it, it of the lot it is that it, it is it is the one where you throw it for order to a single enemy like a praetorian to turn it around I'm not I sure about can, breaking. I only use it on swarms, but not Obviously, really. But it's not, not the really. Best. But yeah, it, it, it's it is inherently because it isn't crowd clearing that it is single target. I won't deny that it is, it's not that it's good at single target. It's just that it is so bad at crowd clear that it becomes just, single target. Um, more utility. I think that single target yeah. implies it can damage single targets well. Um, well, it, it would kill a grunt, uh, which. Uh, I'm not <laughs> sure the cluster grenade can. Um, fucking unreliable piece of shit. Uh, but yeah, I don't. Fire, know. fire is the best, I think. Fire is uh, honestly. I'm. I'm. Yeah. Well, we'll get to that. But fire of the original three. It, yeah. Um, but yeah. For now, I uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I agree with C. But I'm just saying it's not far and beyond the worst. Like you think. You think it is. Um, I oh, think it's. I actually don't. No, the thing yeah, is, I don't actually think it's bad. Position. I just don't no, it is, think it's the, I just think it's the yeah, worst. It really does have utility. Yeah, it really is again, a viable choice. Yeah, I think that uh, once again, you know, with all these tier lists, the game is so fucking balanced that C's and D's are still usable, <laughs> right? Well, They're still good. They just could use some help. Um, I, I just think it's, I'm not actually feeling like putting it in C, to be honest. I think it's quite sticky. I am quite a sticky fan, but. Oh, you're a sticky fan. Yeah, a sticky man. I, they, they they hold value. Um, and yeah, so I, I'll be I'll be fine with B, but obviously, yeah, no higher. Uh, no, <laughs> no higher. Low B yeah. tier, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Low B tier. Yeah. Uh, all right. Axes S. Just. I know. Simple as. Yeah. Don't uh, like it. Everyone saw this coming. Um, yeah, but it, 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 it's simply really unarguable. Good. In yeah. comparison to all of Drilla's other op op options, it makes oh, yeah. him look even better. So they're a fantastic grenade, and then in comparison to the fucking rest of them, even better. It's like, yeah. you just shouldn't really be picking anything in pretty much any circumstance other than axes. It's, it's, it's yeah. hard to pick anything. I, I really don't think we need to talk about them that much because everyone already knows. Uh, but just in case, it is the fact that axes provide exactly what driller doesn't often have i, I want to uh, hold on i want to focus on that by the way because yeah. my in my head it's sort of like oh but i can i can in a lot of ways easily outperform this, like, this what the, the axe does but it's like on average on average it's going to be as in if you average out all possible driller builds the axe is probably going to be most often the best source of um burst damage and I, I say burst damage because it's no not inherently good at, at destroying like tanky targets, by the way. And unless you use cryo, then it does. Then obviously, um, yes, it does. Yeah. But it's it's great. It's great supplementary 
quick damage against big enemies. Style, there's so many of them. Yeah. You can then throw them one at once on, like, say you want to kill, like, a like a slasher or something instantly, or a guard. But you can or, kill multiple uh, enemies with one. You can kill, like, multiple... A lot, uh, like, a lot of grunts can. with one. Maybe it all counts right. towards vampire as well. Because <laughs> you've got so many. Yeah. That they're, like, like, they're not just a grenade that you use every so often. They are just, like, fully part of your goddamn shit that you're using non-stop. Yeah. It is uh, just... Yeah, it is incredibly good for an unholy amount of reason. Yeah. And and you, can, you, you can just decide to throw like all of them in one go as well if you wanted to and just kill everything. Yeah. Like, if like, you really need it. Yeah, and then like it is still the best option like 9 out of 10 times with everything, and then cryo. And it's a guarantee. If you are not using cryo with the axes, you shouldn't be playing the Things game. They could have changed that. They could have changed that with the Ripper, but they did specifically didn't. And it's almost yeah. like they didn't want the axe, I think they. I think they love the axes. I think Ghost Ship they liked do. them a lot. Uh, yeah. I don't think they uh, want them to fall off. I also. I think I know why. It. This is really the only interesting discussion point about the axes anymore because, and it doesn't really relate much to a tier list. It's just the fact that they're so acknowledged as like being probably overpowered. Um, but it's like no one. It will not be accepted if they are ever nerfed. It, yeah. it won't be accepted, but and I don't think fairness, Ghost Ship want to nerf them they either. They did, right? They used to be able to be walked on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they removed that, which no one really kicked a fuss about. Kicked a fuss. Think, because not many people knew, um, and the ones that yes. did didn't exactly do it often. Um, but yeah, it, it's, they are just... Like, honestly, on other characters, they would still be very strong, but not as strong, because obviously they just fill a niche on Driller, and then because of what Driller's other options are weak, it becomes even higher, and it is not a competition, and everyone and knew... And they work so well there. with Cryo. Yeah, Cryo, and it is literally... Which is like one of mm. Driller's like prime, like main... Like, because like, obviously Cryo, you only build it for freezing, really, that's yeah. the only effective build, and, and, and so basically thing. one of the primary weapons the grenade works flawlessly with. Yeah. And and that's the thing is that it works flawlessly with cryo, and it is you. It doesn't work well with fire, but you need it with fire, kind of. Like fire, like the flamethrower can't that's do burst power. damage. Um, it it can't kill something quicker than it than just shooting it, right? Uh, and that's where the axes come in, which is why I think of everything, the sludge pump is the only one which gives you a bit of room to not use the axes. Um, yeah, I sometimes use HEs, not because well. I think HEs are great, but just because I don't want to be using fucking axes for once. You do get sick of it. It is very true, but it's hard to not. Um, yeah, it's so it's, difficult to justify not using it, but yeah, the versatility of the sludge pump means that you don't need to. They're yeah. also throwing axes. That's cool. Yeah. Also, yeah, cool. you can technically um, use them infinitely. You can yeah. kill swarmers without them being used up. Which means if you're really good, if you're really, if you're a fucking ninja, you could kill an infinite amount of swarmers without using any axes. Yeah, and destroying <laughs> um, spores and terrain um, opposition you can destroy them like that. They have that utility. Yeah, uh, yeah, nothing. Um, and Harry, it is something that you can with the cryo cannon, you can kill like thirty to fifty grunts, and the axe not be used up um, because it only ever dealt the. Um, the the normal damage um so you could literally kill 50 grunts without it being consumed it's only the third um, bit of damage that makes it get used up isn't it yeah and the, uh, one of the one the of the two one of the, the two uh, one of the two previous ones is still melee damage um yeah or direct yeah. damage at so least I, mean, it, I don't think it's melee actually part. it's not melee though is it one of it's like area direct Explosion and melee area. um and then there's no, it, it's this. There's the main chunk of damage and then the explosive area, and the main chunk is split in half. But they're both still. It's literally split in half. Yeah. Okay. So you can even get vampire. Yeah. You can prop vampire without even having to kill something. Yeah. Um, right. Well, not kill it. And, I mean, without having to use the axe up, I should say. Um, yeah. And it's only really possible and reliable with cryo, but obviously you have immense ease access to cryo, so that's not saying anything. Um. So basically, yeah, undeniable S. Um, very, very, very likely to be the best grenade in the game. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, yeah, you just said va uh, vampire. Yeah. I don't uh, think yeah. we mentioned that. Yeah, Driller's no, also really, like a yeah. vampire build, like with yeah. the drills, so he's really good at melee. And so you can sp then, with axes even more so, then Range spec more into melee. That's and really then get what I put it down to. 
you can actually be, like, get constant healing because you then have two abilities to 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 heal from. Yeah, Woo! it is. It's it's stupid and it is broken, undeniably broken. Um, but whether or not it nerfed, yeah. it's just the other ones should be better. Yeah, if the other ones you could because you could say all that with the axes, and then you could say, but I prefer this, and that would be fine if it wasn't for the fact that the other ones are just bad. <laughs> like they're just they're just yeah. not good. Um, so, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but for now, I think we should move on. Um, we've quickly covered over all the axis strengths. Uh, now, the IFG, uh, Harry uh, and Tom, really, because what what do you think? Just a quick starting off place. Uh, oh, Harry's saying A. Easy, but not necessarily S either. But easily A. Right. That's my immediate standpoint because it is awesome. IFG. IFG. I don't like him personally. Kill yourself. Kill <laughs> <laughs> yourself as scout main. Uh, IF, I, IFGs are just just really great. I think it's one of the best. Well, no, I was actually the best starting grenade. I mean, axes are the most powerful starting grenade. I just mean IFGs are very, very, very scout like, and it's. It's pretty much the perfect perfection of what a scout grenade should be, and it just can I think... do so much with it. It's like perfect for grouping up enemies to like make them easier to yeah. kill for everyone, including yourself, and also just using it to improve DPS against single targets. So the, immediately, it's just it's useful in I... two most yeah. important scenarios. <laughs> I understood and, and and like grasped its value when I, I saw it only as a slowing down area that procs electricity, which your weapons then have like mods to gain boosts off of. And I thought, that's strong. That's good. That's all right. And then I learned that it just inherently increases damage, right? It yeah. just inherently anything in the sphere takes more damage, not to mention then you're boosted because they're under electric effect, which is then also a, you can use that on anything, right? Even things immune to electricity, they will then be put under the electric thing and take more damage. So isn't it also really good against bosses then, wouldn't it? Like, yeah, it's the, it's, the best, it's the best scout grenade against bosses by far. Yeah. Um, <laughs> by far have you ever used it on a core lock so like when it opens you its thing, can it's a fuck amount of damage. you can you can do yeah. that i i mean core lock's a little bit different i just mean it's very usable against dreadnoughts obviously, i guess yeah but i would have the, the more funkier ones uh yeah. yeah no obviously and obviously slowing down the boss also has a lot very very good um against bosses it helps it doesn't, team what, against bosses what really well. pisses me off is that it doesn't change spinning around time so they can still teleport to well, look the other way no 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 no. i think it's i definitely think it should and this dreadnoughts just can't be slowed down in that sense because uh, Victorians definitely can in terms of turning around if they're slowed that includes that because that's part of their movement which means dreadnoughts you're either wrong or dreadnoughts are I immune to their their pivot speed being changed which might be true um either ways either ways it's not that ifg is useful in literally every scenario but they they don't I don't know it, 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 I don't, I can't I can't think of any weaknesses they just um they have to touch floor yeah to that's a, yes that's they that's, do they do and obviously there, that is there, that's like, that's a lot of there's things there's no inherent well. weakness there's only yeah. weakness in comparison to the other yeah yeah um, which is that it's not immediate which is what I don't like about them what do you mean it's not immediate well it's not the cryo no, grenade right yeah it's, cryo you literally throw it throw and forget often yeah. Uh, same with the boomerang and arguably oh, same with the pheromones. Uh, but I doubt Tom uses the pheromones. Um, like you just throw it and it will do its shit like immediately, and you don't really have to do much about it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I do see what you mean. But I suppose, um, yeah, but it, it, because the IFG is an instant, because it's a lingering effect, it means you have the opportunity to draw more enemies yeah, into it. It's, 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 it means it you're kind mean, of locked in an area, which I, I don't yeah. like doing a scout. But you also have yeah. more of them, though. I'm not. I'm not denying that it's it's incredible value, and like how good it is. But that's not the way I like to play Scout. I like to be yeah. very, very mo like mobile. The constantly. IFG, IFG is for more other characters playing Scout, right? Yeah. <laughs> the, yes, I it mean, it is, but it still um it still works for Scout because like if you especially if you're using it for single, it's, it works in both senses. Not more of them for single target, like for Scout himself, for example, yeah. a detonator, yeah. which will completely stop basically, which means you can move around it 
you can still use your mobility. You could easily move around because it's, it's basically just at a standstill and you can just knock out its weak points. And then any kind of scout crowd clearing, it will aid massively, which, you Please know, you get that on notice, all the secondaries and the drag. Notice that thing you just said, right? The two things you labeled it as inherently helping you the most with are the two things that generally most people and most sheeple would definitely say the scout's not meant to do. Um, he's not meant to kill the giant tanky enemy. He's not meant to uh, crowd clear and control, whatever. He's just supposed to take out the high high priority target. And while I think that, you but none of the grenades, to... none of the grenades really do that. Well, cryo. Um... Which one? Well, just just Matera in general. Well, that's just Matera. Well, no. I mean, if you if you can go up to like a, a anything that is being a threat, cryo grenade it. It deals with it, right? I mean, up until recently, cryo grenade was the best solution to. Um, you know, the NATO sites, like Mother, Root, or whatever, right? Um, and stuff like that. I mean, obviously, it's changed now, slightly, but still. Like, it, it, it has always been a very good pause button on the high-priority targets, and then you would either just leave them alone, because there's not much else you can do right now, but they still need to be dealt with, or you would just follow it up. So the, the cryogenic was always kind of the best for that. Boomerang is now that as well, I would think. Yeah. Um, you know, it now pauses them, and you either kill them, or just deal with other things until then. Uh, pheromones be the same thing still. It would still distract them to shoot them other enemies. They are all very good distractions or pausing of the high uh, high priority targets. Meanwhile, IFG it will help you kill them, but it won't exactly be convenient for a vast majority of high value targets, right? Because they're either in the air or on the. Um. And so I think that while I 100% agree with you, I think that only reinforces my point that um, they are best used for characters that don't want to play like a scout. They want to just play scout like another character mm. that can crowd control, kill big enemies, do whatever the fuck they want, basically. Uh, but for the people that want to spec into the high speed, high high value targets, high precision bollocks, whatever, um, of scout, the other grenades probably are more handy more generally. Um, but it's still very, very strong. But I think that's why people don't use it all the time, right? Because that's the thing, right? We agree with that it's strong, but we also nobody uses it. It's like one of it's like tied with the pheromones, which is absurd for most people, right? Um, <laughs> well, like for you. Um, but I think it does come down to most scout mains. They just want the cryo. Plus, even non-scout mains, it's cryo. Um, so that's why that's so high pick. Um, but yeah. I agree with good. That, eh? it's uh, easy. I, yeah, it's easy I, and effective and good and it works with scout. Yeah, I think I, do I just think why... IFGs do a lot of what the other grenades do. Light. They do like they, they they I think they do those things, but just very much more uh subdued. But they also have that very potent support role. And instantaneousness of them. Instantaneousness, really it's like a long lasting effect. You do have six of them as well. Freedom. Um it's not tied to a floor or a surface or anything. Um like, it's just, I don't know, I, I think the IFG restricts you more than most scout players would like, but it definitely rewards you for that restriction. Um, I think that's definitely a thing. But I think it's, 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 a, it's a taste, right? And it's a taste that you clearly have and that clearly doesn't. Um, so, mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I already got that, because I was never going to argue for rest here, for the IFG. I just think it's easily good enough. I really need a piss. <laughs> Just it's right. a great time to uh, do that. <laughs> it's a great time. <laughs> oh, he just called it Heavy Burster. It's fucking ass wipe. It's called... It... I... It's burst. just called Plasma Burster, right? I think it is just called that. I feel like an idiot. Plasma Burster, yeah. my beloved. My beloved. Yeah. What a what a top, top don. How many do you have of them? Six. Oh, uh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he... Four, it wouldn't even be that it. bad. It wouldn't even be that bad with four. It wouldn't be that bad, but it would be a bit too constrictive, right? I think, but like six of them, they will kill whatever the fuck you want them to. Um, uh, with just relative so speed. much damage output. Yeah, it really. Yeah. It, the the, the plasma monster is getting by on. He's get he's getting by on like just raw destructive power, but also to being a genuinely nuanced and interesting grenade but it's also not yeah. unreliable also... in any way like yeah. it, which the proximity of mine might be you know like the, the plasma burster yeah. has a lot going for it and i'm struggling to like point out 
flaws in function. You know, obviously you've got the team killing aspect, but it's like, why does that even come up so often? Like, uh, it's it hard to even really mean, point at, like pinpoint, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think it is something that you know the the plasma bursters were the biggest, deadliest grenade like, at some point. Right? Yeah, They're I think like, it's just because you're encouraged to throw it closer to you because of the way that it travels. It also travels while exploding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that, that path can be affected in just a, 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 le- a number of ways that make it more useful in different scenarios. You, it, it's actually very, very flexible. Um, yeah, well, I think it's also, it's also quite complicated, but it's also very accessible just out the gate, right? Yes. You can use it, simplest level, as a bit of a dangerous grenade, right? Like a bit of an unpredictable grenade. But obviously, eventually, you would learn how to use it. And then it steps up, and it it has like a higher skill ceiling that it rewards you for. Like you know, like those random bursts that you used to have to manage with at the beginning become precise instances of predicted damage. Mm. Um, mm. And it, it yeah, it's pretty um, pretty cool. It's a very cool grenade that plays to all sides of what a cool grenade and good grenade should be. Um, it went to the it went to grenade school, and it and it um, graduated with. Good grenade with A's and everything. Um, <laughs> As in, it might. Here's the thing: it might be the best grenade. <laughs> it might be. Yeah, I think my issue is is that at this point in time, S is almost too strong, and I don't think it's that. Well, it um, is because the impact axe is the only thing there at the moment. Yeah. Um, and that means it's always going to be at the top. However, I I don't think it's the best grenade for engineers. Well, we know that. Um, exactly. So it can't really be yes, even though I think it's definitely um, a very good gun. Not gun. gun. But, huh, huh, yeah. huh. We haven't got no, to that one yet, Tyler. We haven't got to no, that. it's true. I was, yeah, it's weird that that will be a thing. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's 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 very 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 solid. Um, all right. Wow. <laughs> I'm <don't laughs> also actually not bad at single target damage either, only because. If you know how to use it, you can make the explosions very, very dense, and that's quite useful. And it can also use it to fear things quite well. It actually can do what the sticky grenade does, but it's just a lot stronger. Plus, it pierces, right? Like it just kind of goes through. Well, it kind of has to, doesn't it? Yeah. Otherwise, it wouldn't be actually wouldn't be very good. Otherwise, it would just stop every time it hits an enemy. No, it it does what it, it does what it does, yeah. and it does it does it pretty damn well. What a cool guy. Now, speaking of. Uh... Doing what volatile. it do, the molly, yeah. the the molly. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. I I'm thinking a. Yeah, honestly, because it is the. It's just if you want to kill a horse and you want to use you know a grenade to do it, it's the best grenade for it, right? Like it's it's just gonna do the job immaculately. Um, it will kill everything that was there when you threw it, and then anything that stumbles across it in the next what five seconds, ten seconds. How long does it last? Uh, <gasps> like eight, probably. They like doing weird numbers like that. Hold um, on. Forgive me, everyone. Um, because this is going to be a uh, scene. But this, that's fine. It's fine. It's incendiary grenade. Um, six seconds. Is that it? Six. I thought it was quite a lot longer. Either way, it's still, it's still, um, really, our gun is only a uh, lingering um, damage option. Yeah. <laughs> which is something. Well, consider the lead burster is close I would it's say. actually not far off only because of how long it is active for it's, it's weird though because it's not like a lingering effect yeah. it's, it's hard to like distinguish the two because realistically they're not that different in that sense um if it keeps firing for six seconds then it you know it's essentially the same thing um yeah. but the incendiary grenade it, it, it's also kind of weird isn't it because it's like how reliable, reliable is it Really, but it also well, obviously kind of is. you wouldn't want to bring it into an, a dreadnought mission, right? That is an issue with it, but it's a reasonable one in that it's called balance axes. Maybe you should fucking take a lesson, you piece of shit. Um, well, I mean, uh, it's kind of the one thing I believe in that in terms of balance, that uh, everything should at least be usable on every mission type. That's one of the few things I believe. <laughs> I guess. I mean, the fact that fire doesn't do anything, because it, does it actually do fire damage? Like, does it hurt? Oh my it goodness. Um, fire? Um, 
It has well, DPS. It doesn't, well, it says it has DPS. Um, it also does do a burst of heat damage. This is the thing about it. it you have the burst when it, um, it, it detonates, which means it's like, I think people will probably try and possibly criticize it for only being useful on the ground. Um, I would say you've never... Doesn't it not do that, though? Well, it, it, can, it can detonate in the air, can't it? Just whenever it comes, it has to hit something. something. Yeah. yeah. The only problem so, with that is that the 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 flames will not go anywhere. It will just do the initial burst of heat. Yeah, um, but if the Matera in this example is like low enough, it will hit the Matera all the and floor. It yeah, it can do that. It can do that, that as well. Yeah, mentally yeah. good when it does. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Which obviously it comes down to the situation and your skill. I I genuinely think it's the best grenade for gonna i i i i'm not used to the person mm. probably as much but I yeah think that's they the thing basically I'm feel, not sure i can it, allow that are they not are they not i think they're like flame and lead burster a and the other ones below i think the fire they, as far as aoe goes it fucking stomps on the uh the cluster grenade no it's i, I would not allow those two to be on the same tier um like just the reliable because of um Fire this build on gunner. Obviously, yeah. Um, arguably unnecessary. Yeah, I don't. I don't use it in that. You know, that's when I. That's when I use the cluster grenade <laughs> because everything else is just fire. Um, well, no, even then, it's 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 a lot. It's still good and fits in because. I mean, oh yeah, it's still good. You can minigun. like yeah, yeah, you can you can instantly then fire a large crowd. Yeah. Plus, and if then you can like... then just execute in like seconds with the fucking revolver. Yeah. Like you can have ready, the revolver and ready, uh, like ready, ready for those. Fire and unless you're using hot bullets, bullets, they need to be close as well. So if anything, the fire grenades actually ranged fire. Yeah. Point is, I it's, it's an A, Harry. It is just an A. Mm. It is so fucking good. Um, and it is yeah, yeah. It's broken. This it is not that. It's definitely not broken. The, it's definitely not fire, broken. As long as fire <laughs> doesn't do anything. To like actual like you know bosses, it cannot be broken. Try um, throwing a, an incendiary grenade at. Well, here's the thing: it's incendiary. It's an incendiary grenade, but I don't know if it's particularly good against robots. <laughs> I think it's probably not bad against um well, if you're turrets that are on area, the ground. <laughs> if you're in a close area and, and they're like running in and out, and you're using your midi gun, they will still get on set, for, set on fire. If you combine right? it with yeah. other sources of fire, sure. You know, I mean, it's funny when you throw it at a caretaker, it just wants to dissipate. It's kind of depressing, actually. But that's just the caretaker. Um, yeah, what other grenades? I mean, you go throw the other grenades at the caretaker. Like, you know, what? I mean, is it going to be much better? The best bet is really the sticky, sticky grenade. grenade. Point, isn't the it? lead burst is very good at destroying tendrils. Um, but that's about it. Yeah. yeah. I think it, it obviously it has its weaknesses, which may be, you know what? Fuck it. Put the sticky down to C. Put the flame down to B. I guess that makes more sense. I mean, it, it's, it's, this is kind of... High. It's going to put too many things in A. Uh, <laughs> That's actually a good point. I think I agree with you there. Um, hmm. I think All right, okay. This might, this might trouble me at some point, there is but only four for now. Of them, though, right, as well. Four is always a bit of an uncomfortable number to be grading up against. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, hmm. Still, it's, it's weird. It's weird because we were like, I think we were pre prepared to like say it was. Well, we were pre prepared to put it in A tier. Um, and I think we is, appreciate it more than most people. I don't know how popular it is. That's the thing. Uh, well, as mentioned, I mean, God, God of Grenades was always very balanced, but as of recent, the Lead Burster is the most picked. Um, yeah. yeah, like you're the most favorite or whatever, right? Um, and I think it goes like stairway down the sticky grenade to being like the least. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how it went. Um, but mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. yeah, oh. like, it is. Um, it is one of the best, if not the best, gunner grenades. But as I mentioned, I don't think gunner grenades are that good. Like he, <laughs> is, don't need to be. <laughs> he is just so good that they become lesser. I suppose that's why I get why some people do that sticky because it does have that utility. But at the same time, any kind of explosive output on gunner will blow the sticky grenades out of the water, right? I mean, the thunderhead alone will get so much more done than the sticky grenades. 
like any form of the thunderhead but that's why right, sticky grenades i think are getting by weird. on utility more than anything else um you know they're kind of but, yeah i don't know I, I think that that looks better but it's just nice to have a bit of fire um, oh this, this a... idiot yeah I... it's, it's a spicier one considering you know it is basically a new grenade the HEs are a yeah. new weapon. Um, this idiot. And Boom. they are a lot more usable now in a literal usable sense, right? Because in the previous, it was far too weak and a pain in the ass to use. Now, it's and then they just roll away. Weak. It, yeah, it would literally, it would just be like, okay, I'm going to kill this enemy right here. And then, like, hit it on the head, do nothing, and roll off, and just go explode ah. in the corner. Uh, yeah. I, it was like a pebble, and then it just mm. blew up a, a little bit of dirt. Um, but now, cock it a little bit, which is still, I want to be noted, not burst damage. It is not no. the burst damage that the axes are best for. Axes are damage now! Even if you want to use the HEs, whenever you want to do it, you still have to wait one and a half seconds, right? I think it's that. Um no matter what, even if you want to blow up an enemy right close to you, or like a longer range one, or anything like that, you have to wait 1.5 seconds to go off. It is not damaged now that the axes are, so it still does not fulfill that role. With that being said, though, the reliability of that grenade, and kind of skill rise of it, right? Like, it's kind of fun to get good with the HEs. Mm. Um, like it, there is that to it. Like They are actually quite fun grenades. Yeah, so here's the thing, um, right? Here's the thing. It's be- I'm going to compare it to the sticky grenade. It's you have more control because of the cooking mechanic, right? You just do yeah. like sticky grenade. You have to it has to land on something. Um, I think people probably get what I mean when I say that HE you have more control over. Um, it is also stronger. I think. Well, actually, we can check. I know that da- I know what they did change with damage fall off, um, particularly. We've got 130 there. Um, 140. Okay, damage is higher. Um, Radius is higher, damage fall off is lower, it's stronger than the sticky grenade in actually every way, slightly. Um, unfortunately, it is on Driller. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, which is it actually its only problem, though. That's the thing, which is why I think we need to account for that. And as in, I don't know how, I don't know what accounting for that means. Does that mean I, it's worse, or does that mean we should ignore the fact that it's being like, brought down because it's on Driller? Satchels on Driller. Yeah. It's also it's satchels. Just, <laughs> HEs are literally like just like, worse satchels. Um, if you were just to so get much worse. If you were to get, I, I, I swear I did the maths on like the good as a grenade from the video, but it's literally it is like half satchels and like double the numbers, and you get HEs. Like it's almost exactly that. Um, and it is kind of weird. Um, uh, I think they're in C. Yes, but okay, so hold on, I need to do this, though. Like 10 meters radius. Right? You know yeah. what I mean? I think they're a high C. I think they're... HEs were obviously in D. They were definitely in D before this buff, but this buff has made them usable, not inherently in strength-wise, it's still kind of lacking, um, but, and it's, it doesn't really have a place in Driller's kit, but it is I'll actually really use them, fun. not just it's... unfun and just awful and sh- yeah. like you won't do anything. I, I would not, like, in the past... You said you use HD grenades. I judged you hard, right? Yeah, and obviously I did. I don't judge the, anyone for using them now. No, it is honestly, it's like fair enough. You didn't want to use the axes. Um, I see nobody should use the neurotoxin, but we'll get to that. Um, and the, the rippers are a bit much. HE is the reasonable option if you just don't want to use axes. You've used the axes too much. You want to try something else. Yeah, HEs are actually the next step. Um, and that is so, worrying because they're obviously weaker. Yeah, yeah. But, I suppose I would ask, like, what other class would do? You think another class suits them better? I mean, I guess Gunner probably does. If, but I feel like there's reasons. There's particular honestly, reasons why sticky grenades are liked, and I feel like they don't. The HE doesn't actually have that. Um, it's fear factor isn't that good. HEs. If if HEs were on scout, that well, would be obviously I was going to say that, but you know, you know. Yeah. I mean, what I would propose is actually replacing them with something in Driller, but have them be an option for everyone. It's <laughs> <laughs> like the basic frag grenade. It, that would be interesting. It would be but, interesting. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, because yeah. would, would they, they, they? I mean, dude, it's like a hypothetical. Would they actually take over scout just because they're straight up grenades? Probably. 
maybe maybe no, not they still don't they still don't have the instantness and they would not be better than the ifgs i think they would still be pretty bad on scout but i think people would still kind of use it if they wanted damage just direct out straight up damage from their grenade i mean a scout with actual grenades sounds pretty scary to be honest yeah, but those actual <laughs> grenades are hgs so it balances it out a little bit there yeah um, yeah and obviously engineer it would be it would be actually be fine it just wouldn't suit him in concept yeah, and Gunner, I mean, essentially, I mean, uh, as much as shit on clock, it would be just like a single cluster grenade. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I, I think... Um... And, but, but the thing is, now that we've had that discussion, it's pretty clear that they, even, despite the changes, they are still a bit of a relic. Um, yeah. Because they don't Obviously. really have a place, even if they've been made better. They don't necessarily yeah. fit in anywhere. <laughs> I, I think, honestly, they're arguably the best state they could ever be. As far as I'm concerned... Aside from making them broken... Her. Make, well, not just uh, make it mine. EPC mine the shit out of HE grenades. Mm. If you, when you, it goes off, if it's damage radius, it also carves like a satchel or EPC mining or anything like that. HEs would be viable. They would be. Well, I think, I, I think, like, you could actually, I, I think the main thing that's missing in terms of, I mean, I, I think you might be on something there, but I think one of the main things that's missing is actually it not being an impact grenade. Um, which I think it should be, and you could still have the cooking be viable there because that means you could have still have you could use the cooking to make it explode in midair, but it still bounces off enemies and rolls on terrain. I think it'd be better if it didn't because then you could just throw it out and then it would be that burst damage that I, people want. No impact. If no. you made it impact, it would <laughs> no. lose the fun. It would immediately go back to being boring. Um, I think if you gave it, because currently it is quite fun, but if you added another level to it where it is essentially a, a alternate EPC mining um, like skill thing, right? Where if you use them and you throw it up to like a, a nitrate and it will mine it, right? And that would be a very interesting and quite nice use for the HEs. Um, and obviously it's not hearsay. Satchels do it. EPC Heresy. mining does it. Um, yeah, that's the one. Um, like, <laughs> Gunner what the fuck <laughs> has ample ways of doing ranged, like like explosive mining, and I think HEs, considering the description, find dirt or mm. like ground or whatever, they do not fucking do that. Um, it would make sense, and it would actually shoot it up to a contender with the axis. I, the, I think um... if you switch out of axis to HEs, I'll be like, fair enough. Honestly, fair enough. Um, well, no, I say I say fair enough anyway because I understand why people want to get away from the axis. Yeah, um, but I would say that even if you don't want to get away from the axes, if you use HEs because you use them as like a hybrid of utility and killing, like I imagine people use the axes. So they don't have any utility, is... do they? Not right now, no. no. But if they added utility to them in mining from a you know a, a reasonable range, since you can only mine as far as you can the... like throw the grenade, um, then there's something there. I guess um, the question would be how worth it is it to use them for that when they would use it up and you have you do have less of them than axes and it would use it up to mine. But Harry, it's the HEs. You don't need them. That's why I, was, that, I know. That's why I needed to yeah. ask the question though because I think I already knew the answer. Um, I mean, also, um, if they were to chase that line, it would, um, based on sort of a lot of reasons, including lore and also gameplay trends. A mining explosion is either plasma or fucking huge, like satchels. So I yeah. well, I wish the HEs were turned into a um a plasma grenade, basically, and then you would have it be because the idea of a plasma grenade, I think that's what the um that's what that guy made that that modded PGO overclock he made with the plasma grenades. Basically, it just has no fall off or something. And that's some, that could have been another leg up in terms of combat it would have. And then the plasma would make it make more sense for mining as well. Hey, hey you just made up a new grenade. You just made a, a no fall off plasma mining grenade. Like you Which is exactly just... what it should be. Which is exactly... I guess. I think, I think Jula having a long range grenade would have made a lot of sense. Because um, that would have actually filled in a niche. Okay, if, if it's a new the grenade, then that also anyway. means it travels in a straight yeah. line. <laughs> so yeah. there you go. <laughs> but I not. I think. I think the just slap on like literally the satchels um, carve not inherently as big as the satchels, but the way the satchel carves onto the um, hatchings, and you will have a valid contender um, for a good grenade for for Drilla. But right now, it's not quite that. But it is better than it was before. Um, I think we should move on. Golden grenade. 
Uh, to the cryo. Tom, right. I'm going to need some help here. Look at these two idiots. <laughs> Fire and ice. We need help. I mean, I don't know what well, I mean. S. 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 I mean, fuck off. I'm done with this fucking cryo grenade. S. Do you know why it would be an S? I don't. Because <laughs> cryo is S. It always is. Um, and having access to it is always S. Um, and having such quick, instantaneous access out is just as um how many do you have you have six right four. or is it four all right four that's a bit four. more reasonable um it's still yeah but you can still hit multiple enemies with it it's not what enemies getting hit by um it is you know however many you hit you could easily take out an entire mactaris one throw of a grenade mm. um you could take out or you know stun a giant fucking horde of enemies given the right circumstance control them enough like, as far as um, medium-sized enemies go, uh, the cryo grenade's a pretty good shout, right? Um, like, it's arguably the other um, boss-killing grenade. Um, <laughs> not exactly good at it, but it, of the other ones, it's probably your best bet. Like, I, I don't know, it's just... I mean, it would be preferable if Tom did comment, as I imagine he would yeah. say yes. Um, yeah. Cryo grenade, Tom. Well, unless he's just going to say yes and nothing else, that won't be very helpful. What? <laughs> it, we didn't catch that, Tom. All right. What were we supposed to do? Both of you. Uh... Well, what would be yes? Because it ain't going to be the fucking boomerang. Let me put that like foot down. Um, what do you mean? What's going to be S? Do you not think that Scout has an S tier grenade? No, I don't. All right. That's a little bit more reasonable. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, wait, what? What did you think was going to happen? What did you, did you think I was going to... Yeah. Oh! Oh! Well, well, I, well, it's just, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I thought that, you know, there'd be like at least, I don't know, something for each. But well, I thought that one for Scout, since Scout is a pretty grenade. Like, Scout's grenades are so important to his kit. Yeah, they are. Um, they definitely are. Yeah. That's... And I think that that's really what you kind of see here in that Gunner's kit, grenades are unnecessary, to be honest with you. Um, does not inherently do much towards his, his strength. No, like... I agree, but um, and I get the cryo grenade, but personally, it, it is it's a bit of a taste thing too. I don't personally believe they are S tier, like genuinely, like, as in objectively. Um, but I'm also because of other objectivity, I'm also willing to put them in A because I get it. But it's the reason that why I I don't like them is very personal because I try to make sure everything works together even though it, 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 something being frozen it, everything works well with something being frozen that's the thing at the same time that's sort of why it, it doesn't because it's already everything already works with it but it's not like a direct pairing i try and pair things in ways that are quite specific nothing specifically pairs with the cryo uh the cryo grenade um, i should say on scout so I only so use it i only use it for my cryo my scout cryo build i only use it for the cryo build what you're saying is because it's so universally compatible that it's not compatible enough uh, to be worth it compatibility wise. Is that what you're, is that is that what you're saying? Yeah, <laughs> for me, that's just, just sort of how my brain works. Wow. Say. Only because uh, what, what? The Tom. Well, well, I don't care enough about the cryo and scouts grenades to fight. Hard for an S. What is it? Are you? Yeah. Is anyone? What is someone really going to like cry about me putting in A tier? Come on, Likely, guys. yes. <laughs> I'll kill them. I'll fight them. I'll I fight mean, you. Actually, in saying that, though, from what we have learned, people might cry and fight over being an S as well. Um, like, they are actually rivals as far as uh, Scout players, anyone that plays Scout is. Um, but we'll get to that. Um, Hold on. Here's the thing. If you want me to be nice, I would say they're actually quite balanced, the IFG and the Cryo Grenade. That, I actually think they're quite balanced, personally. Um... 
I think that the cry grenades have more. I, I was about to say weaknesses. It's like it's, I don't know if they actually do have that many weaknesses, but they're like I guess the bosses thing comes up, and they also use they used to have the breeder thing, and you have less of them. Um, it's also just a personal thing. I mean, I don't know. Because the thing is, I'm I'm talking like I don't like them, but my personal ranking is still A. <laughs> yeah. So. I think it's just uh, the case that, like how axes would already be strong, but they're super giga stronger on, on Drilla. I think that's kind of the case with the IFG, like, uh, you know, the, the cryo grenades, in that the cryo grenades are balanced to IFGs, but because they're on scout, I think the cryo grenades are better, right? Um, the cryo grenades are better on their own, but you have less of them. <laughs> A, a yeah. cryo grenade is better than an IFG. Six IFGs could be better than four cryo grenades. But not inherently for what you would want to use them for. Because the cryo grenade will always be usable. The IFG, that is not the case. Okay, well that's just wrong. What? Where'd you get that okay, from? Okay, kill some fucking Macteras with an IFG then. You go can. On. You can. Only if they go into it. Wait a minute. Like, literally, Mac Terrors can just exist, and the Cryo Grenade will say, fuck you, and no matter where they are, what they're doing, they will die. Uh... <laughs> IFGs, less that. You would have to coax them into a, a small alleyway, and then IFG and stab them in the kidneys, right? All I'm saying is, since you likely implied it with switching over the C, put the Cryo to the left of the all of them to be honest with you um i think is definitely the closest to an s of those three uh, fine <laughs> you know what? maybe i do hate it maybe i do hate it because yeah i, I just think you clearly do i'm sick um, of i'm sick of people i'm sick of people <laughs> we can stop there no 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 i no i get it right um and this is not something that the viewers are mostly understand but you know in one piece there's sanji and zoro right? what the fuck is going and, on now what is what and, and you no know, it's the case that like in in when you see your favorite thing get kind of shit on right and like generally just unrespected you start hating what other people like right and as a sanji fan Zoro fads shit on Sanji. So I now hate Zoro as a character because of that. So in this case, am I, I, am I the Sanji fan? And Sanji is the IFG? Uh, yeah, essentially. It's the one that everyone shits on, but you think it has value and that they're just fucking morons that don't understand it. Um, and they're simple like, oh, duh, oh, Kryogen is uh, stronger, so it's better, um, fuckers. And then, yeah, so you actually hate the Kryogen because of that. I mean, I do, I do think the breeder thing was... The best thing about it, and it did take and that it away. Did lose it. I mean, it do you do you agree with me that it might basically be the best thing it did? Uh, I would say I would think it's it's the most times where I'm ever like, oh, cryo grenade now would be like it, I never yeah. ever think about Tyler, any grenade. Is, I still think it's worth yeah. doing. I still I think it's that good. It's still worth doing, even though it takes two. <laughs> yeah, um, because it's yeah. still instantaneous. It's the only way to instantaneously put down a breeder. Um. I guess. I mean, if the, if the driller happens to be close enough when you first discover the breeder, I'm it's possible. I'm going to be very honest, and this is going to be a pretty bad take. Go on. And I, I think love it. Go on. the breeder should die instantly if set on fire. Um, and I think it should die in a fiery explosion. You're right, that is a bad um, take. A bit like the Hindenburg. <laughs> yes. I think it it's should no be longer a bad take. No the, 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 yeah, the breeders should be like, have a flammable substance and they are, like instantly fucking explode if set on fire. Um, and I and I think that would be very funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yes. All right. Cool. Um, they get uh, it like cryo grenades. Cool. Haha. <laughs> uh, funny. Sounds. Hot. Oh. Like what? What's hot, Harry? Other than oh, yeah. um, Keanu Greaves. Keanu Greaves. He does grieve. He's he's lost a lot of people in his life. Oh, speaking of losing a lot of players, people, players. Um, speaking of losing the lives of your teammates. 
speaking of being like the most hated engineer grenade um, i can see why it's hated i can see why it's hated because like oh, <laughs> i get i get that i, I think i get yeah. that <laughs> it doesn't have face value value right out the gate if you're using it and you're a dumbass um or just you're unlucky it could have not a lot of value you throw it down fuck all stands on it maybe like one grunt and it's like uses up one of its three fucking explosives Fuck you, you stupid piece of shit. Yeah, then, that, that can be fun. That's still players. very annoying. <laughs> still yeah. when that happens. You then join other players who use it, and they throw it on the point where you have to stand in, like, a you know, anything. Uh, and you're like, fuck you, you piece of shit. They throw it on, like, a, a, a fucking resupply. So as you're resupplying, no health left. You need to resupply to save your life. You see an enemy be like, it's fine. I'll make it. They won't reach me in time, but they do reach the proximity mine, and it fucking blows you up, right? Those two things together make it a very unlikable grenade. Despite that, it is hella strong. Fuck me, is it strong? (laughs) It is so goddamn strong. Um, (laughs) It really just... It's just a jock. I genuinely think it's just a jock grenade. It's just fucking meat. And it just pushes everyone around. And and that means sometimes it accidentally hits, like, you know, the wimp who's going to go down in one hit anyway. Instead of, you know... Going for the bigger target, well, not the bigger, not the bigger targets. I mean, just you know, you could hit more than one. You could hit more than one fucking grunt. Here's the thing about proximity lines: they're really fucking strong, but they need to be buffed in certain ways. They genuinely do because they the fact that it explodes when one grunt yeah. is like on it is just really fucking annoying, and it's unavoidable. It doesn't matter how yeah. good your placement is; that can still happen. It, it can still happen, right? I I think it, it it comes down to well, first of all, they've done this before. They used to activate with a single swarm, but they they yeah. got involved there. Although it kind of it was a bit of a it was a buff and a nerf because now it literally doesn't activate no matter how many. Yeah, so uh, hold on, because yeah. the change that needs. Okay, so I'm just going to go the straight into this. The change that needs to be made. The change that needs to be made. This will count for both of these things, right? It should just be based on the number of enemies in the radius. And I feel like I you need that. to pick a good number though, right? Because there's a lot of numbers where it wouldn't make sense, right? Because five might be too many, for example. Because when it comes to grunts, I don't know about health. I don't know about enemies, but I like the idea of health. Mm, uh, well, that's, yeah, but that, that, that's helpful. the same thing. But it might be too complicated. It could be better, but it might be a lot harder to do. <laughs> but it might be. maybe. But it would save it wasting on a bunch of low enemies. A bunch of it would like, make the most sense. Though. Other things, uh, yeah. But something like that is what's preventing like, it from it, being. It made. means that like a I massive horde of swarmers that you would want something like that for, it would go for them, but only because it's that many. And yeah. then also, you know, other things. But it but is still, it's also really it's, what it's killing for just swarmers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In terms of what it can damage though, it is good at everything. Right? And I I mean it is actually very good at single target damage. Um it's actually very useful in elimination still. Twins sort of phrase it off a little bit, but that's it, actually. Hive Guard introduces Sentinels, which is great against. It's really great, great against the Shielded Stage. It's still good against the normal Dreadnought. Um, it just, I don't know. I don't really know what to say about it because I, I just think we need to focus on the ranking though, because I don't, I it's really B. don't know where to put it. Yeah, that's the thing. That's why I, it's, it's not why I put it in B, but it yeah, is what I was no. thinking. Does it have I enough think... drawbacks though? Because the thing is, we talked about the Plasma Burst. The Plasma Burst is like all strengths, and it's also very accessible. The thing is, the proximity yeah. mine has quite a few weaknesses and it's nowhere near as accessible um yeah, uh, it, but its strength does make up for it it's not a bad it, it has strength and it does have nuance um, right there it, yeah. it, you know it's and it, you know it needs to be nuanced to make sure its strength isn't broken if used well it could easily be the best shit known to man which i think applies to well uh, i think b is just difficult to be as good as it is i think is really like, <laughs> like i think that's yeah. down to um and yeah, it is just um yeah, its strength is definitely there. Um but its inconvenience for you and your team is a bit too much. It it that needs to be sorted out somehow, one way or another. Maybe uh, it shouldn't detonate when your teammates are in the like in the radius, but it's like there's just a lot of it's a lot of things that you could do and it's I like I think that would that would be really interesting because that would be like I mean, you could lead things into it. Yeah, I, I, because I think that's that's like a bit of both. Because there's obviously, you know, there is an argument where just get rid of friendly fire. But I fucking hate that argument because friendly fire is part of the balance of the game. 
it makes some things better or worse, as we'll learn later on with a certain Dreaded Grenade. Um, One but, perk for it. Yeah, I mean, there is a perk as well, yeah. Um, and on Hazard's uh, difficulties, it changes how much friendly fire you receive. But the point is, is that, you know, friendly fire is kind of a point of balance. But some people don't oh, love and or care. Um, yeah, and, and when you're a teammate to someone that doesn't and or care, that kind of sucks. Um, so maybe proximity is being a so unalterable fuck you that a teammate plays down, right? Like, if they put down a proximity um, on a resupply, there is nothing you could do. The flamethrower is, like, really, really fucking annoying at <laughs> eating damage. Yeah. So annoying. Yeah, there's a lot of them. It covers yeah. everywhere. And just, it is such minuscule damage. And then... Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> a bit of trouble before you just came back, yeah, because yeah. you never bothered to even try not to constantly set us on fire. The, I died so often because you just refused to 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 not set me on fire. My dad just started mowing the fucking lawn out yeah, front I heard. of the house. What do you mean I you heard. heard? I mean, I heard. Um, I could hear it whenever you talk. Um, but. Yeah, oh, yeah. That shit, Jesus, you're the best hearing in the world. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not anymore. I guess he was just very, very close a little bit ago. Um, yeah, but he's yeah, got the right outside his window. Oh, Tom, he's just, I he's mean, just doing the window. He's just like breaking yeah. <laughs> the glass. Tom, where would you put the proximity mine? Um. All right, moving on. Hi, a. I A. Okay, let's just ignore him. That um, thing is, I agree with that. Strength wise, it's there. <laughs> it it that, is there. This makes sense. It's too many inconveniences um, occur for it to actually be held to that regard. And you know, I won't do there that because I think those equal. Um, like there was, there were some mecha- the, like the, the inconveniences in um like. I mean, yeah, you were saying the inconvenience, but they're really not that big of a deal. They are, though. They, they can really be are. when uh, they are a, a problem. When it comes down to it, Tom, like, I did a thing, I did a poll, like, uh, of, like most lights and least liked grenades for like, each character, and a lot of people really fucking hate proximity mines um, because it, they're not, don't, they don't feel good to use, and when your teammates use them, you fucking hate them. Yeah. Right? Um, and that is a actual legitimate source of bring it down a tier. Um, because that is a problem which will affect the pick rate of the weapon. And I'm pretty sure it does. Um, I think the, honestly, the, um, the safe, I don't know what you call it, uh, safety mode, I guess, idea is actually kind of almost perfect. Not, I, it might I not like be it. perfect, but I just mean it's perfect in the sense that it accounts for that problem. As well as the inconvenience in when it, like, yeah. you know, exposing with, like, one grunt, uh... you could alleviate that deliberately. If you, as, like, yourself as well, yeah. it includes you, which means you were the engineer who threw it down. You could, like, stand in the, in, in it and, like, yeah. just draw things I, to I like you. That. I like that because, it, at that point in time, right, when the retard engineer puts down his proximity... Um, that's what they are. Um, or, no, they're new, likely, right? But if they're like a level seven giga thousand um, that does that, right. they're fucking, fucking um, salvage up. Yeah, exactly. They, right. The if they, <laughs> yeah, if they do that with how the current mechanic is, everyone else gets punished, right? Including them, but maybe they might play around their own. Way. Uh, but like everyone else gets punished. But in this weapon, their proximity mines will never go off. So it's the engineer that's getting punished because they lose all value in their grenade. Well, you could tactically like draw that. like as much as you can into the into well, it, and then. Too. <laughs> yeah. But I think it, it will it, uh, it adds yeah an extra layer to its interaction, which I think engineers always good with that kind of stuff, which is why I, I have an issue with that grenade for later on. But um, it, it yeah, I think there is there is work to be done on it, but it's still incredibly strong, and it's by no means the something that needs to be looked at right now. So I think B is its best place. Yeah, I think so. I think so. It used to feel like it was the king, but that's before I really discovered plasma bursters. Yeah. And, Plus, um, you know, it used to be really good against Jedi. It, it's it's not like it was ever nerfed. I just think this is actually where it always was. We just didn't really realize it. Um, I mean, it was the dreadnought thing did change a little bit, but that was also like cheese 
as in yeah that wasn't really even proper you would have to like spam resupplies and it didn't really make sense like it was just yeah. it was just it wasn't actually um efficient it was pretty fucking cool though i wish you could still do that i mean you can kind of do it to the twins but you know they have sort of they've got to put in place um yeah whatever let's move on from proximity mines um fuck this piece of shit <laughs> fuck him I, I don't get why you hate it. it. It doesn't. It doesn't really. It's not very really special in my opinion. But I don't get why it's you hate so, it so much. <laughs> it's so nothing. Like, oh, I'm gonna throw this grenade that like blows up everything in an area. Throws the grenade. Nothing dies. It, it does. It, it nothing does, kill. does anything. It, it doesn't do nothing. It just tickles the balls of some enemy. It's so fucking annoying. I'm like, okay, understood. I need to be more precise with it. Throw it in a bit more closer area so they're all closer clustered. Do that. Nothing touch. It doesn't do anything. It just sits in a fucking corner and jerks itself off. It does fucking nothing. I hate it. Such a piece of shit. Fuck you, cluster grenade. <laughs> so yeah, I'm thinking like, you know, um, see, fuck him. <laughs> It's, it honestly, it it's like, it is just. Oh my god! No, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like it's like I mean, what? He's got like a, a stun that like, a, in all fairness, the stun occurs because nothing it hits fucking dies, so we will get stunned. Um, but it, it's just just piss right off. Like I'm not gonna use this shitty unreliable gunner. Like, like, I'm not fucking doing that. Um, especially when, you know, the flame fire fucker is her thing. And even now with the lead burst, like, it's just the most unreliable, annoying method of AOE um, on his grenades. So piss right off, you piece of ass. Like, and now you can spew some hot garbage about how it's not that bad, but it is! I didn't know I had that in me, to be honest with you. Um, I didn't know I hated it this much until okay. just now. He didn't, he didn't mean it, it's all right, don't worry. Don't worry. I did mean it's it. I... Shut up. Um, well, you, you, you sort of mentioned how... Gunner doesn't really need grenades, that's the thing. So, I don't mind having a grenade that is extremely useful in, like, really... Actually, it's not really useful in tight quarters because you're probably going to get killed if you do that. But it, I mean, it has a lot to do with um, terrain and, and whatnot. But it's just like, and then it's, but then it's like, yeah, okay, it can do more damage if it's in a tight, like more compact area. But that's only because it it, it naturally spreads its damage out. <laughs> um, so I DK. I mean, obviously, it still achieves a lot of damage overall. Um. If it, it does. <laughs> it could. I've, it doesn't even have the most effective range. I don't think. Pretty interesting on the low gravity. How many are there? Enough. Is Fuck. it four? No, it's nine. Tyler. No, I meant the amount. Oh, of four. Them. Yeah. Can they flip it? Can they make it so you carry nine of them? But they, um, you know, that would be, that'd be nice. Mean, yeah. Sure yeah. Anything. Uh, yeah, no, fuck. Fuck. Buster. I mean, yeah, stun. It doesn't even have a guarantee. I mean, it, it, it kind of does. It, I mean, it essentially does. It pretty much does. I mean, it's also. God damn. I don't, I don't know what to say, personally. But... Well, I've said what well, I've said my piece. I don't know. I, I just don't know. really feel like defending it. <laughs> exactly. Nothing <laughs> to defend. No, I disagree with that. I just don't care about the cluster grenade. I just don't. Yeah, because it feels horrible. Thomas. Yeah. All right. You think he's cluster grenade's mightiest defender? Maybe. I love cluster grenades. They're fucking amazing. See what this I mean? Kind of grenades. Oh, okay. <laughs> There you go. I disagree with him, so we'll just ignore him. That's I get that is a good way of going at it, right? He's a useful third opinion unless you don't agree with him, and then he's useless. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I sort of see it like Tom is like there when we were at an impasse or something, and he can become like the evil that we unite against or something. I don't know. 
which is him, which is him UK saying that it's the best UK. gunner grenade, which I heartily disagree with. And also, yeah. I never had a problem with being in C, so we didn't even need to. They didn't even need to go anywhere. We could have moved on after you finished your rant, realistically. Um, yeah. I do. Want, I really want to make sure we got the right one here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Eurotoxin really grenade uh, is the worst terrible. grenade uh, on Driller. Possibly and in the game. Arguably in the, the game. game. In uh, the game. No, for sure in the game. I can't think of anything worse. I do actually kind of think that, that Lord does provide more value. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I thought you were going to say it's worse, but yeah, no. It provides no, no. Value. You, throw, you, uh, throw, you throw a neurotoxin grenade, it bounces around, the it, gas cloud ignites, and then all the grunts have already moved past where you were going to well, throw it. I don't know about that. Um... The thing is, is it has a stupid huge radius, and I wish that was I, I uh, like it is seven point like five. The... That's actually that is massive. Yeah, it has a fucking huge radius. Somehow, still not enough. Yeah, which is pretty impressive. Um, but it, it is it, its giant radius, as mentioned, is actually it's a liability due to the fact that it fucking blinds you, right? It, it, it is it is a smoke grenade to you as well, right? You can no longer see with it down, um, yeah. which is not preferable. No. Um, <laughs> and not to mention, obviously, I mean, it is the thing, I think, the, uh, with the grenade we did on you know people's likes, dislikes, it is the worst regarded driller grenade. I mean, all right, most people hate the... Uh, the shredder. Uh, not shredder, but the... D. Yeah, it's D. It's in D, Tom. It was always going to be in D. You can see it, right? F. F. No. We don't there make isn't it an F. Tier. But to be honest with you, if there was one, it would be in that. It's because, not. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's that much worse. Than the, 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 I don't know if it's that much worse. It's, it still does stuff, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But the issue is, is people genuinely argue about, like, like, it detonating. People see it as the best thing it does, and other people see it as the worst thing it does. Yes. It is that weird of a grenade that it's not even its main thing, but it's, it's like alternate additional bit of thing to make it an actual piece of content is questionable as to whether or not it's a buff or a nerf uh, to it. Uh, and it, it is, it, I agree with them, to be honest with you. I mean, first of all, once again, it is technically burst damage. It does a lot of damage in a short period of amount of time and a lot is questionable, but I'll go with that. Um, but it isn't when you need it to, because first of all, you need to wait the hour and a half for the smoke to settle, and then for it to come out. And then at that point in time, you now have like 15 seconds until the neurotoxin will actually go. And if you set it on fire like any time before that, you're wasting a lot of time that you could have been neurotoxing enemies. But also, you know, you wanted the burst damage. Maybe you needed it. And it is just such an annoying fucking grenade that blinds you and takes a while to use. Set up. It's terrible. It is actually. It's, it's like it's bad. one. It's it's the one that really doesn't have a chance of ever climbing up to the axes. Yeah, which and is the impressive. other two have a chance. The HE is actually legitimately preferable. I want to... This is an interesting question. Do you think it was... Do you think the HE was always better than the Neotoxin? Uh, no. 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 Um, and I will, I will say everything I just said, I think Neurotoxin is my favourite grenade on Driller. You fucking idiot. I, <laughs> I do not use it 99% of the time. And I barely enjoy it when I do use it. But I find it's it part of the thing to just... I love it. It's just a stupidly huge area of just fartnade, right? That like kills everything in it eventually, and it's just I don't know. It just doubles down on primaries essentially. Um, this is not where and... I thought this was going. No, oh, yeah, I still think it's the, the worst grenade in the game, but that's why I'm, <laughs> I'm up. I'm up for it being better oh, because I, I really like. That, it. that, if it's your favorite drilling grenade, does that mean it's your favorite grenade? <laughs> just like... Yeah, essentially. <laughs> Like, like, that's I, funny. Know, that's funny. You, you know, that is funny. It's, 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 I just hold so little value to grenades that I do not care that my favorite one is literally the one. And if anything, I prefer. Um, but yeah, it, it's just so bad that they gave it the biggest fucking. 
longest time duration um and a a part of it it cannot be conceived as either a buff or a nerf no one can quite tell what they meant by it and whether or not it was an intentional part of the thing um and yeah plus in all fairness it, it does either it either it works well or is actually counterintuitive flame thrower. no one could decide that uh, but it's also it is quite nice pairing it with the, the sludge part if you smother a room in fucking it is quite goofy um, how deadly, deadly that area is. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I enjoy it. It's terrible. I hate it. Um, my favorite grenade in the game. Uh, and the worst. Never talked to everybody. Uh, what's that little bit? What's that? Oh, okay, it's gone. Yeah, I think that that's up. I mean, if if we're going on radius, then, you know. Uh, actually, <laughs> you're going on uh, radius. <laughs> I mean, I feel like radius. radius. I feel like maybe it's one of these guys. I, feel like... I mean, it's kind of weird. All the new grenades actually have the the longest effective like range slash radius. When you think about it, yeah. But we're not there funny. yet. We're we're on to no. uh, uh, this be one. Tom, you said you used all the scouts gun, and I do believe you. But have you ever actually used Ferrum? <laughs> I, yes, I have actually properly used them. Yeah. Um, they're um, they're pretty know, good. I agree. Um, they are pretty good. Um, they need a buff. They're yep, shit they did get and do uh, the cryo and the IFG. Yeah. But and the they are usable. Arguably. Uh, they are really usable. Um, less so with the crossbow that has pheromones. Yeah, you don't really need two sources yeah uh, so but if you want pheromones without using the crossbow which is a perfectly good reason because scout secondaries are really good then uh then go ahead yeah i actually i i would say pheromones is my favorite um because it just works right like it, it just works <laughs> you throw a bunch of enemies they will just attack each other it definitely um, does what it's supposed to do. Yeah, and if you use crossbow, it's a better look, like, like a million times better look. It is. Yeah. It is actually. Yeah. It, really <laughs> it is. is. It does do yeah. that because it's not just everything that you hit either. Uh, very yeah. enemies. I mean, the point is that they attract other enemies. Yeah. Well, attack each other. So they'll be like you, the best thing to use it is obviously you try and target ones with bigger enemies in there. So if you hit a guard grunt, then he's going to stay alive long enough to accumulate tons of things on him. He'll last the full pheromone duration. But if you yeah. just get normal guard like grunts, they will just kill each other. And uh, then no, yeah, they, the no, they, no, they don't. No, 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 they don't. They don't die. They don't die. They don't. They don't die. Do not, not, not just the normal pheromones. If you don't do anything to them, they won't kill each other. Um, this this is from very, very, very recent experience. <laughs> They won't well, end know, up actually killing. Swarmers care. will die. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it will soften groups up. But that's not really what it's for, I mean, anyway. So. What is it for? Pheromones. Yeah. I, I pair it, as, as much as you said not crossbow, I would also say, yeah, crossbow. Yeah, it's crossbow. obviously not pheromones. Um, explosive death, dark, cult <laughs> thing, I think is a nice combo. As in. Probably one of my favorite builds is that. Uh, pheromone grenade, um, the explosive crossbow, and then just AI stability. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I guess the, the problem I would have with that is that you have, like, I don't know, like 17 bolts and, like, four <laughs> grenades. <laughs> yeah, but I'd shoot, like, two explodies in there. Oh, yeah, um, you're definitely, you're definitely one, a, a, be, a very well-used pheromone grenade. The amount of enemies you would get together would need more than one chemical bolt to bring yeah. it down but one firebolt would do them all um but <laughs> that's the thing um so if you really want to double down on that you could i mean but then you could also take i mean i would i want to try taking firebolts chemical bolts and pheromone grenades i want to do that that sounds ridiculous um that's like a scout's uh damage over time play like, but obviously it's not that but like that's, that's like his status effect like, and you probably take electric reload then as well or something yeah, or just like, a, any fun any drag really actually, <laughs> but electric <laughs> reload, yeah, that's, yeah. 
Yeah, you well, can do that. Try focus shots, you know, why not? You yeah, yeah let's try focus shots. Are you, are you, have you got face cam? Are you looking at the screen right now? Are you, are you shaking your head? Are you, are you doing a weird face? I, I think he's doing a weird face. Let's try uh, focus shots. It's, uh, it's, um... <laughs> but yeah i don't know i think honestly man yeah 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 i think b is right um, it is isn't I think, it i think it is i think it's perfectly it's, fine i think i I've, I've been trying to like place it in my uh, but i think characters that as we mentioned earlier their strengths uh of the like or like the impact the grenades have on varies i think gunners is around like 10 percent like his grenade holds up about ten percent of his power, um, generally speaking. Um, I think scouts it goes up to like f- like forty percent of scouts' power comes down to what grenades we use. Um, and yeah, I think pheromones is is kind of not strong enough to hold that big of a weight to it. Um, and the others are like twenty five to thirty, varying. Um, I, think, I don't know if you can really average that engine out. Engine is is about like thirty. Engine, uh, no, engine is probably about twenty five. I think. I think engine is supposed to be twenty five percent on everything. These grenades are pretty important. Um, yeah, that's why I said twenty five percent. Yeah, equal. And I think I think driller, uh, like I don't know, like <laughs> not much either though. I mean, I don't. Whatever you would split like each of his things into. And that includes like perks, I think. <laughs> oh, if you include perks, an engineer goes below twenty five percent. Perks I, as well. Yeah, but like I'm just saying that uh, the driller is literally everything he has plays like an equal role in the, but also not at all that. I think I think everything I think driller, everything he has five percent, but obviously that goes over um a hundred percent, which is why I think you don't really need like two bits of equipment, which I've all. Um, yeah. But, yeah. An engineer is actually everything the same, I think, within yeah. 100%. You need to use everything in synchronization. Uh, Scout relies pretty heavily on his grenades. I think that's not weird, to see, considering how passionately people care about I mean, Scout. I guess, it's, what did you say? Yeah. You said 40% of something. I feel like that's like 40% of like build. I feel like that's almost a weird way to put it. I, but I, mean, I, I don't know if those numbers really make sense to me. Because... They don't really mean anything. I'm just no, saying that, like, he relies on like, his, his grenades are pretty, and pretty most important to him out of any of the classes, possibly. Yeah. I think yeah. is. Well, maybe he's not. He's, he's close. He's, he's definitely close. behind. He's defi- um, yeah. And then close. I think Driller, other than Axes, um, like, is not important really at all. Um, and then Gunners, it just, yeah, it's it, insignificant, really. Which is, I think, what we're kind of looking at here. In the even like the good gun is high, yet the worst scout one is still about as high, right? Um, because it's just levels of strength to the class. Um, so what's that about the best gun and grenade? Oh, actually, don't worry, we'll get into it. Um, yeah. Um, speaking of getting into it, speaking of getting into it, speaking of getting into it, it's got it's got S. it's got two S's in its name actually. Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> so this is an S, and I think this has verified to me that S needs to be nerfed. Um, they're too strong. Yeah, I I, I thought about this recently. Not, they are too strong. Well, I'm always thinking about this. I should say. I mean, I just I was just in using them a little bit more recently. I I feel like before it, it was still at a time when we knew that they were like it was like season three had been out for a little bit still, and it, it was, we knew that they were, they were the most popular engineer grenades now, like by quite a bit. But I was still thinking, I don't know if I would, I don't know if they should be nerfed though. I feel like they may. Um, you could definitely get away with it though. <laughs> and yeah. this is a case so, where the the, the, the axes actually doing. got the axes got a lot more going on, and that's one of the big reasons why it's hard to nerf the axes because they they're loved for so many different reasons. Yeah, the shredders are loved because it's just <laughs> they just do exactly what they need to do. Yeah, like the think about it, right? Uh, proximities. You have to be careful to place your proximities in the right place, and then some things can fuck it up and it run walks over proximities uh not proximities uh, plasma grenades you need to like get the momentum right or do stuff along the lines be careful not to kill yourself team um fucking the other one uh, lures um even then you need to make sure there's enemies around right uh, or like it is all of them you have to put so many kind of into place to get as much value as you can out of the shredders you 
done. You are done. And you are going to probably get the most value out of that. You are, you are not going to really waste anything unless you're the dumbest man known to like live, in all fairness. Um, but like, it is literally you throw, you press a button and you have gained more value than any of the other three grenades could really possibly hope to achieve. Um, like, even if you put a lot of thought and effort into it. Um, it is not funny how stupidly easy they are to use. And I do mean stupidly easy. They are too skillless, and that is why they are like a 60% pick rate. Or like that. Uh, they are bad for engineer, and they uh, like it fucked him up bad. So, yeah. And I, I honestly, I do not think they can inherently nerf them to the point where no one... You could half the time, half the damage, it would still be picked more than the other grenades. It just would. Yeah, but that, okay, so that, though, that's just a problem with them people being, like, just dumb and lazy. That's a problem, yeah. <laughs> frankly. If, I don't mind is, saying that. That is people that would, because you're right, that would happen. And that's just people just being dumb, just being brain dead. I, I, I don't think there's any way around it. They're just, yeah, they just I see, agree. they just see automatic, and they're just automatically on it yeah. like a fucking fleet fly to a fucking, yeah. I don't know, piss puddle or something. I don't know what flies do. Yeah, but then um, they also have the ingredient fact of, first of all, they are actually, they do hold the same amount. They're strong, right? They are strong. Same with the axes. Easy and very strong. Um, but they're also fun as hell, like the axes, right? Obviously, you don't really, like, engage in it, and it's not fun in that way, but it's always fun falling in shredders and watching them go to work, right? That is fun. It's like, oh, yeah, you get fucked, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, it has it. It is very, very similar to the axes um, in their overwhelming simplicity and ease of use and uh, fun and just all of those things come together to create something that was born to dominate that character. And it's so sad because Engineer was doing so good, other than the lure is slightly weak. Um, but even then, you know, people still used it pretty balanced. Like people actually, the grenades were balanced, weren't they? Uh, lure was, I think, behind, but still. It was around 33% for grenades. Shredders come along. They're sitting at like 10 to 12 each. And the shredders are sitting on a fucking throne. You know, like 60, 70. Um, yeah. Like it, it is, they were too strong. And I, I will die on this hill. Uh, Driller should have got on the shredders. Yeah, that's the, he, that's the weird, that's the weird part. That's the, weird, that's the, or that's the, that's the strange bit. Your, like, uh, <laughs> because as mentioned, the, the shredders are fucking broken like that, and I think they would have actually been the only real thing down the axes. Um, and I would, I would, I mean, the Ripper. I, but you would obviously have to kind of like, it, obviously, it doesn't. Oh, make sorry. Sense. Okay, so this is the part that I agree with you on. Actually, when we got, when I think I remember this conversation when we got to this point. So, in concept, the shredders don't make any fucking sense for Tripper. Yeah, same with the, um, the Ripper. No, 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 that. Yeah, it, it's it, that. Stop. Zip. Uh, the shredders make no sense for driller. They made sense when you explained that they created another driller grenade problem. They gave engineer that problem, which means that they might have um, toppled the axes in terms of like or equaled them out possibly. And then, but what that made the idea better was what the actual what ha would happen to the, uh, the ripper, which is the engineer would get it, which I think is makes more sense not more sense but well it makes more sense than giving the uh, driller shredders um right yeah and it probably would have been more balanced and it makes um the, the rippers in what you're supposed to do with them does actually make more sense for driller the, the engineer than anyone else as well um certainly so great idea i mean it's like when would you do that though why would late. you do that it's, it's too late I mean, oh well, yeah, yeah, it's too late, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, but it is just, it is just the thing where I genuinely, honest to God, believe that this grenade additions made grenades worse. Um, it uh, the only thing that benefited it from, from it was the HE grenades. That, that was it. That's it. The only thing that benefited from the the touch them touching grenades. Um, otherwise, it made the whole ecosystem of grenades worse. 
Yeah, but what does and that mean? No though? one gives a fucking shit about. That's what yeah. I mean. That's what I, I don't think it's really a problem in general. I don't think it's a problem of the game. Um, the, I don't think the state of grenades is a problem. As in the state of grenades. Yeah, it. I guess it got worse, but it 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 also. I mean, it technically didn't either. It's not like um, it, it's still all there. The originals, nothing got nerfed, so it's also not just not important enough to be like, um, oh fuck, the grenades are ruined. <laughs> not like, um, doesn't doesn't hurt my my heart as much as uh, anything else could. <laughs> it just it just it just makes me question whether or not I don't know how how well how good they are at that kind of stuff. Um, that like kind of looking at it this way, in that it really doesn't feel like they in any severe way. Um, at least especially not for grenades. Like, like, because, you know, when something on a weapon is so domineering, they tend to get involved. Oh, so really? pathetically weak, they tend to get involved. But they really haven't for grenades. They've not given that much of a shit um, like at all. Pheromones was a casual buff because they realized that the pheromone status effect was weak when they were doing the, the crossbow. And it, it took them doing this to realize, okay, we'll do a little something to the HEs after like fucking what, five years of people fucking shitting on it, right? Saying it's absolutely horrific. Um, and it's just, yeah, they just do not seem to give a shit about grenades. Um, and like, I don't blame them. But it is it's still like I don't know, what's the fucking point of adding some if you don't care about them? Uh well we know why. We know why about. that is, because I I've no fucking I have no hesitation in saying that they were completely lost when they were trying to make season three. Anyway, um let's stop talking about the shredders. <laughs> Cause Yeah. I would call them I would I would they're actually called the SSG. Um, which I believe does actually stand for Shredder Swarm Grenade. So that's fun. Mm. Should stand for um, Silly, Sad, uh, Gorbachev. All right. Yeah. Yeah. How was that? Okay. Um... Look who's next, Tyler. Look who it is. Hello? No, no, okay, okay, I okay, we're you... back. Um, there were some issues. I mean, there might still be issues, right? But I'm, I'm re we're, we're back yeah. recording again just to make sure oh. we can. Oh. What? It flicked off for a very short amount of time <laughs> then. Okay, okay. <laughs> Leadburster. Tactical, tactical. Come lead burster. I, I, it's a minimum B. As far as I'm aware, it probably could be an A, right? It like, is for me. It very good. <laughs> it is for me. It's only, it actually, okay, it's only floor, and this is the even kind of not, it's a bit weird anyway. I haven't noticed even killing teammates that much, to be honest. I'm going to be honest. So it still definitely hurts people. It's kind of difficult to avoid for everyone, but that includes the enemies, right? It has a very, it has like range. It shoots bullets first of all. It has a lot of range, right? And it actually has like a, a modifier where it does a lot more damage at longer ranges to make sure it does damage because the bullets get so much more spread out. Um, which means it's very good in a lot of different terrain scenarios. It's good in open spaces and enclosed spaces almost equally. Um, and 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 it can do a lo a shitload of damage to detonators, hmm. and there's not really it's anything it's bad against either. Though. Pretty like, I, I, much. Like, like, why doesn't it also melt like anything else that stands on it? Why is it only detonators? Because I think it might have something to do with them being unarmored and big, right. as well. Just unarmored, fat, and with juicy weak points. But either way. There's nothing it's really bad against either. It can be used in a lot of different scenarios for a lot of different reasons. There's no mission it's bad on, first of all. I mean, that's important for me. That's what gives it a leg up over the incendiary grenade immediately. Um, I don't know, I just find myself wanting to use it more often than the others. I find it to be the most useful 
on a grenade, personally. I think it certainly looks like it would be. Like it seems to be a a just a perfect hybrid of direct and area damage, uh, which is essentially like it runs off the same thoughts as his primaries, just so much single target damage that it kills everyone in the area. Um, yeah, like you could use it. You know, it also uses a shite ton of bullets. <laughs> Um, so it's also just really fun in that regard as well, isn't it? It's literally a gun, a primary, as a, a grenade. Um, so yeah, it's, 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 definitely... it's got a weird arc. The way you throw it out feels very odd. <laughs> I don't know why it's like that. <laughs> Is it like throwing a glizzy? To, to what? Out, I, yeah. Out? Well, that's a bit more um, the next guy, really. Yeah, but yeah, the burst okay. is a bit. It's a bit like static. Right, it's like there's not much to say about it. I just think it's um. It's a kind of grenade, like. But I think I, it might I be think... the best one though. Yeah, and I, I, as much as I've mentioned many times now, I've not really used it. I knew it was it was going to be at bottom B, right? It is at least up there with the the fire one in being actually usable, uh, <laughs> um, like worth using. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I believe in A. Uh, yeah, and honestly, just look, being able to put down a detonator as quickly as you can with these things is not—it's it, not something you should wave off, in my opinion. It really isn't. That's significant. It's—I don't think you can redo it. Surprised it hasn't been patched. Well, I don't think it's—I don't think it's completely unintentional. I think it is because I... of the way the detonators are is leading yeah. to this happening. But that means it is unintentional. I, I, they, I refuse to believe when they added it, they were like, oh yeah, we're, we're going to make sure this can two-shot detonators. Um, there was no point in time where that was an intended purpose of it. Shut up. All right. Moving on, shall we? Yeah, I should have said, um, actually, don't shut up. Because... Yeah. Well, not that I necessarily want you to talk about this. I might get annoyed. Uh, Actually, no, I won't get annoyed. I have no idea what to think. I mean, I know it's not like an A or an S, right? I know that. I know it, that. It is It is B. But it's it, the Ripper. It's the, it's the same as Proximity. Overwhelming strength. Um, but it's, it's a bit less. Proximities are very strong, but they're also very inconvenient. Um, uh, Ripper is overwhelming strength with overwhelming inconvenience. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very, very niche. Insane. Right sucks to use um it is so irritating <laughs> like jesus christ god forbid you have a teammate with it right which i'm going to be very serious with you i think i've seen one i think one person who's used the the rippers not many people whip it out and i do not blame them uh because uh, yeah no point in time while i've been using it, have i been like i'm glad i'm using the rippers right now um, like this, this is a very nice time because um, it ain't that. It really isn't. I hate throwing it because I swear to God, it is the weirdest fucking thing to throw. Like it comes out somewhere else other than my hands. I have no idea how to describe it, but it's always slightly ajar to where I would have thought it would have been. Um, <laughs> I guess it's because it leaves your hands like you, when you throw it, you would expect it to like hit the floor where you are once you finish throwing it, if you know what I mean. Um, but it doesn't because it 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 stays at wherever you are when you throw it. Right, the second it leaves your hands, it moves forward from that position. So even though you've moved slightly left or right or whatever, because it's a, you move a lot in this game, it hasn't moved with you. So while you're kind of aiming it up you have a pretty high chance of it not coming out where you want it to be. Yeah, uh, I think my biggest problem with the Ripper is that you the... can't send it up like a pillar. It, it won't, it won't, if there was a way to make it like, for, for, like spiral around a pillar instead of just going straight up it, um, I'd probably like it yeah. a lot more. <laughs> but you can't do that. It's essentially... Um, the Ripper really is one of those ones where it's... it's like, people say things like the satchel charge is just what your primaries do, whatever. I mean, he kind of is, but it's obviously a lot, a lot quicker. Um, a lot quicker. Um, the Ripper is the most, out of any other part of engine, out of any other part of Driller, an extension of the primaries, but yeah. also, like, them put on steroids at the same time. 
right? As in, it's either going to be a straight line, but it's like, it's just, it, it's very fast and has a lot more range in that straight line. Yeah, or it's just going to, or it's just going to do the locking off tunnels thing that you can do with flamethrower or the sludge pump, but just a lot more aggressively. <laughs> It's just a yeah. lot more aggressively, and, and it is really I, it is genuinely good in those scenarios, yeah. uh, like the the, it, it the, is, the ring thing, like going around a tunnel. It, it is good. Uh, yeah, and I think to tick off like the, this, the final one. This is the closest to the damage now type of burst. It's still not quite that, but it is close. I mean, being being able to kill like every like grunt in a straight line in front of you. I mean, not a straight line. If it can, it has some width to it, right? Obviously. Yeah. Um, being able to do that is it, it's it's a lot easier to get a good amount of damage out of this than I think a lot of people think, right? Yeah, it's it, just then it's just there's just something too much to it though, isn't it? I guess and then so. that is on purpose and not on purpose. In that, like, you using it in that instance, in like a, let's say we're in like you know open room, right? You throw it down, you clear a nice section. You're like, fuck yeah, that was good and cool and fun and 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 gay, but in the old fashioned way where that meant happy. Um, it was nice. Then you've got another five, six seconds of it coming back around. Um, and Lord knows what's going to happen when that it, it comes back. Right. Like It is now going to be doing like six seconds of unpredicted and unwanted and unneeded <coughs> shit. Um, right. And God forbid it grazes you or your teammate mm -hmm. or anything you didn't want it to, right? There's a cocoon on the ceiling or there's there's, there's a core lock in the back of the room, right? Anything like that. It is just so difficult to have to plan that far ahead. Um, and you will get punished so hard if you don't. And it's just a bit much. Um, and it comes down to the fact that, yeah, its damage is overwhelming, but it is somehow still not worth it. It is is not worth the actual gigantic thorn in your ass, um, or in this case, probably a bunch of sores uh, in your ass. Uh, like it just isn't. Um, and obviously, it, and it was weird that you know it's clearly kind of made for bunkering, right? Like it it, yeah. it works really well with tunnels, and that's kind of weird because they always kind of seemed anti-bunkering um like they literally added an enemy to make bunkering more difficult um mm -hmm. obviously they how well they achieved that goal is questionable but that was their purpose when oh. adding it. Um, and the fact that they would then kind of change that like here here's a grenade that is absolutely revolutionary for bunkering and now instead of having to though you know use your primaries and other teammates to hold it you can use this single grenade and you will hold that door you would hold the entrance for like eight seconds, right? Like, that's it. Job done. You've won. <laughs> the swarm is over. They never stood a chance. The it is a over. very, we won. very weird grenade. It is um, so old, isn't it? It's and so it old. Was, it, it, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. All right. I just don't know. I don't, I don't know why we're putting does. it in B, to be honest. Because it sounds it weird, doesn't it? Overwhelming strength. Yeah. It, uh, um, well, and it is fun mm -hmm. to use in the short couple seconds at the beginning. And if you are bunkering with it, it's, you know, extremely strong and extremely fun. But then it comes with so many, like, ah, oh, but I wish it didn't do that. Or, ah, oh, why has it got to do that? Or now I have to do this. <laughs> or, like, stuff like <laughs> What's that. What's it doing now? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like if you don't spend like the first like minute or so prepping the fucking area to use this grenade once, you're fucked. And it's just like I'm not gonna do that, man. Like yeah, it's just like us off. Um, and and, it, and obviously that's some people off. are, and I bet they love this grenade. And that's clearly who what this grenade was for. Like you say, Harry, you think it was for niche, like people that wanted a niche. Um. And like they're gonna fight the rip, fight for the ripper, use it all the time. It's their favorite thing. But as far as the game as a whole goes, um, just ain't great. Uh, yeah. Wow. Thank you.
Just because I saw the, the connection start flickering. Oh, yeah. shit. No, you, just, uh, you, was just, you just um, checked out. You just signed out. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I was like, all right, I, I forgot that I'm uh, I'm like any moment now. So I, I saw, you know, I've got my point across. Um, <laughs> I thought I okay. Just, yeah, I, I, like, no, I guess very, we probably need to quite good, decide on this because we need to um I don't even know if I want to get into the bin right, to be honest. But the problem <laughs> is we have to get into it because I've got no fucking idea where it belongs. Right? Frankly. Because yeah. honestly, this is probably one of the most polarizing grenades, right? In the sense that obviously Shredder Swarm is arguably a problem in it like causing a um, what would you say? I don't know. I don't know, but, it's a, it's a, but I just mean the, it's like it's, people aren't really conflicted on it, though. That's the thing, right? People aren't really conflicted. There'll be a lot of people who would say the boomerang should be in D tier, um, and there'll be a lot of people that think it should be in S. Yeah, um, I'm not either of those people, but I'm definitely on its side. <laughs> Yeah. I can tell you that much. I am on the boomerang side. I I get it. I like it a lot. I genuinely find it really, really useful. It's my favorite might be my favorite scout grenade. Um personally. Um although I know I know that I mm. here's the thing. If I if I put it in A, would you be like, oh we have to put the cryo grenade in S then or something? No. No. I'm and just, I'm, I'm happy you said that, yeah. well, by the way, because I, I see the boomerang as a... Um, it, it's sort of like a... Uh, mutilated cryo grenade in a lot of ways, isn't it? <laughs> I, you know? I, it it's I the think... one... It, just, it does just stop things in their place, right? But you see, like, yeah. it's not radius-based. Okay, yeah, it's not radius-based. I mean, you can't catch everything, like, in a radius with it. Okay, sure. That's a valid criticism. It does also have a shit ton of range and eight of them. And it can actually kill things outright. It can. It can do it. If you, especially, like, even not even insignificant things, like a small group of grunts, it could potentially kill. Like three grunts or three or four grunts, right? Ascent, and it, or, or it will essentially kill four grunts. It's not... And for, for Scout, that's not completely insignificant when suddenly his grenade can kill. Um... And I don't think it's so trivial where it's like, oh, yeah, well, obviously it can kill Swarmers, the Kroger, and he can do that stuff. No, it's, a, it's enough more than that to be considered a strength, in my opinion. It, 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 when we first saw it, in actual, when, when we first started using it, we were like, okay, this isn't, the, the damage here really isn't the point. And I don't think it is, but it's still point enough to be considered. I think at first we were like, okay, the damage isn't anything, but it's something. And I want people to understand that. It definitely is. And it, it just it's like... I think people will probably say like, "Oh, what does he fucking do?" It's got eight. That's like a. I feel like people might say that's like a childish like, um, thing to say that's good about it, right? Because it's like, oh wow, you have more of them, right? But no, it it, it that, that the convenience that having that many of them provides is highly significant, right? Because that's more high. That's more instances of a high priority target being disabled in the cryo grenade, right? Obviously, yeah. like a, a especially a detonator where it's only ever going to take one um, boomerang. A cryo grenade can't stop a detonator. The boomerang stuns detonators. Hmm. Um, I basically, I don't know how to. Um, I don't know how to. I don't know. I just don't sympathise with people who don't think it's good. Um, because I think it is. And I don't know what I'm doing. I, I, I think it's A tier, personally. It's way more consistently usable and, like, useful than the B tier lot. Genuinely. It doesn't really have any weaknesses, first of all. All right. Give me something. Or nothing. Or connections gone. Okay, so Tyler on on the boomerang. <laughs> uh I get why people think it's bad because and I get who the people are that think it's bad. Mm. Because the boomerang, like the shredders, um, is very scholars. 
is what it comes down to. Um, in that you cannot, like, like with the other grenades, it is better depending on how well you use it, right? Um, in that you can hit like thirty enemies with a single use of the other grenade, right? And it's probably quite common that number with the ISG, but you get yeah. the point. Um, but with the boomerang, no matter how good you do, I mean, obviously there's like a bare minimum, like you could fuck it up real bad and only hit like one. Well, that's the thing, um, you can fuck it up, but it, you, the thing is you can, yeah. you can waste it quite easily, but it it kind of has a cap to how well it can do, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's not that, that's not that nice, to be honest with you. And I think it's the players, and it's literally, I say the players, you got Axis Kronos, right? He's the biggest boomerang hater out there, at least publicly, right? And he is that type of player where he likes pushing for a higher skill level, and the boomerang does not provide it. No, but you could at least. I think no you should at least remove level. the waste part, though. So I think it. My the only thing I really think needs to be done to the boomerang, it needs to be able to perform all of its hits on a single target if there's no other enemies around. The fact that it doesn't do that is a massive problem to me because yeah, there's no obviously. there's no higher skill ceiling, but it can still be wasted. And it's like you either give it a higher skill ceiling or you remove the wastefulness. Right. Yeah. It, so that's, the, I, that's my I main mean, criticism. That, that would be a fair thing because I do think, and I think that's why it actually is the only grenade that contended with the Goliath, in that it came out of there and it fought the cryo grenade. The cryo grenade dominated Scout, and now it's tied. Yeah, it, it did do what the Rift was meant to do, I think, actually, because there's a lot of people yeah. who fight for the. Well, the thing is, I, and I want to clarify this because someone in the comments might catch on to this because I caught on to my own argument. I complained that the shredders were sk- like like no effort behind it and that's why they suck right and then i proceeded to say that the ripper needed too much effort behind it and that's why that sucked um and for that i say it comes down to class right when you play a certain class you sign up for a certain kind of experience and i didn't i I don't play engineer because he requires so much setup i'm not in the fucking mood all right um Mm -hmm. is not that kind of character um he can generally right the drills can be used to make the area a little bit more palatable uh but his tools and his stuff he just kind of throws out there and deals with the enemies right like 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 you know like all these other grenades did that then they added the the ripper which requires a lot of setup and that's not really right for the character and that is why i think they should be flipped i um, i think it's i want to point out i do actually genuinely agree with you on this um, yeah, I think maybe, you, maybe, maybe is... you need to hear that. I think you're actually yeah. 100 percent right. <laughs> yeah, the shredders fit driller more because it's just a throw out there job done. Um, and I think you could easily twist it to be that way, right? I feel like you would have to kind of change the design and all the law because obviously the shredders was obviously always a, a an engineer weapon, right? Everyone always kind of had that in their mind, right? But you could have easily spun it that the engineer made the weapon and then gave it to driller. Right? Yeah. Like that could easily be a law thing. Um like whenever he throws it, it's like, oh, these are my little uh, these are a gift uh from the engineer. Like so, shit like that, right? Uh, and like that could be a cool thing. Thank you, maybe, engineer. Maybe I won't you, see for you later. Yeah, you <laughs> could have had the argument that the uh the shredders could give you vampire. There would have been an argument for that. Yeah, right? you put little drills um, on them. Yeah, or like the fact that, you know, they're technically melee or some shit, right? You could have spun that because it would have made more sense. And the Ripper you could have left as is, but maybe you could have made it a little bit more sci-fi than, like, rustic punk, right? Like, a little bit less chainsaw, and a little bit more, um, I don't know, like, like breach cuttery in that it will clear through a swarm. Um, a little bit more engineer in presentation. That's what I'm saying, just because that rung in my head, I'm like, I want to get that out there before a comment mentions I mean, it, it. could literally um, be, like, a, a little, like, robot on yeah. wheels that holds a breach cutter beam. Between two arms well, yeah, and just rolls, that. rolls uh, around. And just a little, a little drone fella that like that glides across the floor. That's like, yeah, um, is what it is, um, and uh, yeah, basically that. Um, but I think this is also relevant to the the boomerang because the boomerang is as skillless as the shredder, but it scouts grenades have always kind of been that. In all fairness, obviously, I mentioned the skill ceiling, and you can use it better, and it will feel rewarding. But it is still generally just kind of throw it out there. Right, throw it out there at the right time, but just throw it out there. So it's never it, the boomerang isn't too simple, and it needs nerfing or like some shit like that, or too difficult. But it is just it removes a bit of the the ceiling of um, you can use it better if you are better, right? 
a green beard who throws the throws the boomerang could use it just as well as a level giga thousand fucking. Why do you keep saying chrono. giga thousand? What the fuck is that? I don't that? know. It's a new thing. Um, keep it up. Yeah, like that's the issue with the boomerang that I think the high tier players have. Um, plus, it's not really a thing for modded difficulties but that's not valid but that is definitely something i imagine some people yeah the well, highest skill let's point out is they literally about. are not valid they do not fucking matter they're not valid but it explains why high skill players that play on that difficulty wouldn't like the boomerang because it not possible but man, right? if, I, if i could play on the difficulties i might feel differently okay but i can't <laughs> I can't okay yeah. so fuck off yeah anyone who brings up more difficulty in the comments is getting banned <laughs> And then it's the same. With no, I'm joking. That's a joke, by the way. Like, We're not fucking yeah. authoritarians. I'm just going to tell you that you're stupid. But when you won't get yeah. banned. You're just stupid. Well, no, it's a, it's a, if you think that it's fine that you you can believe those things, but if you think that the game's balance um, should be in any way, dis- like if you think a weapon is strong or weak because of a modded difficulty, you are wrong. That is not a valid place or a valid place to gain criticism or compliments to a weapon. No. Right? Um, it does not affect the base game experience, therefore it has no value, right? That's how we see it. To the base um, game experience. You can talk about more difficulties, but talk about more difficulties on its own. And to people that give a shit um, when we are not there. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah. yeah um, but yeah, I think this is it. And I think running through it, uh, I'm pretty chuffed. Um, I'm not surprised that so many scouts are up there. Um, not surprised at what's in D. Um, I think we're going to get shit for C, though. Um, and not the HEs, obviously, but I don't think gunner mains are going to like their grenades being down there. No, gunner mains are fine. Gunner mains are, are wholesome people. They don't care. That is true. They actually they do tend to be pretty... Yeah. Because they're basic bitches, right? And that's why don't their grenades are Don't insult gunner mains. Don't... They don't, they'll take it. It's fine. Uh... I agree, but they don't deserve it. Gunner mains uh... deserve love and respect. No one else All does, right. though. But apparently not good grenades. Apparently, one one more thing I want to say about the... Um, another thing I want to say about the boomerangs, in case you're still doubting me. I didn't explain why they're so good against bosses. Every boss as well. Which the other grenades, even the IFGs don't even have. Even the caretakers? Yes. Do you want to know why? I'll, I'll explain why. I'll start with the caretaker if you want. Well, none of them really work against... The okay. None of them really work against the caretaker. Really. Right? But in the context of the caretaker fight, um, the boomerang will still target the tendrils, uh, the appendages, and it will hit all four twice, uh, and plus one. And it's because it's the only thing it can hit. It's worth spamming them against the, uh, the appendages, and you also do sometimes have shredders and the turrets. So they have, a, they actually have a very clear use there. As in, you don't really need to use your other like your weapon against these things because you have uh, the boomerangs. How much does it even do against the tendrils, though? I think it, if I think it kills them, if I remember, if like, like two me. of them, two boomerangs. I guess they do take more electric damage, don't they? But that's I'm two or three. I don't know. It's just worth spamming because it's the only thing that does that. Um, yeah. The only thing that it targets in the caretaker fight. And you're not like IFG. Does IFG? You could. On you could. The caretaker? Uh, yes, but it doesn't work so, against the caretaker. Not even against his vents. No. <laughs> okay, a bit weird. It works against the t- appendages is, uh, if you can. I, no, I, I'm just sorry, but I'll say it now, and we've said it before. But I want it to be known: Caretaker is a bad boss. It is a bad boss. It's not um, that. It's not a bad boss fight, right? There's something wrong with the caretaker himself, though. Yeah, the fact that he is immune to uh, what is essentially, arguably, the like it is like a third, if not more, of weapons effectiveness um all weapons all characters effectiveness the fact that it ignores that destroys build and not in a good way um yeah it's kind of weird it it, it is it is yeah it's just bad um i mean it was bad enough that you know dreadnoughts are immune to fire and then that becomes immune to literally fucking everything yeah i'll I'll, I'll Um, do dreadnoughts yeah uh well core lock i feel like it's pretty easy you've got a lot of spitters right and it's just going to bounce between them all um do some damage Betsy, Electrocute them. Bounce between Betsy bounced things. between both of them as many times as it can, which actually results in decent damage, and obviously they're executed too, which means you get certain damage bonuses. Dreadnoughts, 
it's the it's the most dubious one, and IFG is probably better on average. But normal dreadnought is the worst one. Uh, normal dreadnought, you only use it when it, it shoots out spawners because it just cleans them up and maybe gets two hits in on the main dreadnought if you're lucky. Um, but it still works there. Twins, it will just bounce between them both. You can see why it works there. And obviously IFG, it's very difficult to get both of them in the IFG. So you've got that going for it. Um, Hive Guard, only useful against the Sentinels, but quite useful against the Sentinels. It will hit them multiple times and keep them in place long enough for you to just kill them. So... I think that's the, that's the thing as well, though. It's the, it's the same thing with the skill ceiling in that it is literally always usable. Which I think is obviously a good thing, but it's, it's just another one of those things that no matter when you throw it, you will gain value. And that can't be said with the other ones. And it, it just makes the boomerangs feel so easy. And it's just so free. And I think that's why it's strong. It's definitely strong. But I think that is why people don't like it. It is a free everything. No matter what, the boomerang will be good and will help you. Um, but I think <laughs> it just feels too easy for most people, I think. Um, and I, which is interesting because I would like to see their opinions on the shredders because they are definitely that as well, if not more. Um, but I think well, most of them I mean, that's a bit, I guess that's a bit weird, isn't it? Because it's more important than Scout. I'm I think not those sure are they, those two things combined. I'm not sure they dislike it because it's strong. Surely. I mean, I mean, if you went, if you well, learned, no. if you based it off Axis Chronos, he thought it was like just pathetic Ex weak. Extremely weak, yeah. But he, he, he thinks it's weak because of the whole numbers thing. Um, in the like you know numbers wise it's terrible um but it it goes above numbers right it's it's effect it the way that it helps you in the game isn't it can't be put down to numbers um it, it's just not how it is except the fact you can use it eight times um because it becomes yeah a the most freely easily able to be used pause button that scout has um and obviously it could pause a lot of things at the same time um, yeah, I actually, lot, I do. Things, but... Yeah, but that's that's the thing. I think I have actually sufficiently explained why it deserves to be an A tier. But I really yeah. do get this um, low skill ceiling. I really do get this low skill ceiling argument. I actually agree with it. But yeah, I still like the boomerang a lot, and it's I think so it has strong. a lot of strengths. I really yeah. do. Um, um, I I think I I'm so ha like if we break it down to classes, the fact that all the scouts grenades are an A except for Iron Wounds, and that's just a tier below. That, that makes perfect sense is... to me for scout. Actually, um, I'm really happy it's there. Um, yeah. Honestly, Scout could. Oh, it's not the healthiest, actually, is it? Uh, no, no, not really. But there isn't really any anymore. I mean, it's it's it, obviously it's Gunner. Uh, which Gunner's we... only the healthiest though, because it doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, that's what that's what I mean. It's literally you know because even then, Lead Burster and like Cluster slash Sticky. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, you, you're not that you're not that much worse off. Right? No, even though we do think the lead burst is that much higher, if you pick clusters or sticky, you would still be essentially the same power level. You would be able to deal with essentially the same amount of threats in essentially the same amount of efficiency, uh, because you don't really need the grenades a vast majority of the time. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's why the gun is like it is. Um, Thing is, okay, so the other two though, driller is, as far as I'm concerned, still the most unhealthy. Right? Oh yeah. I mean, okay. clearly... I'm glad we agree on that because the reason why engineer isn't is because it's the shredders are a massive problem, but it hasn't changed the proportional status of the other three in proportion at all. I don't yeah. think they're still in the sort of same spot. Proximity the other mines still good. Proximity mines and plasma bursters still fight for second. Um, yeah, and the lure is still considered the worst. This is why I think the lure yeah. is the thing that needs to be brought up. Yeah, it's still kind of used. So. Um, but yeah. I don't think it's. I don't think there's a good reason for it still being used. Um, but yeah, it's. Um, yeah, it is just the fact that yeah, I think the, you know, uh, yeah, basically, in with driller, if you pick the axes, if you don't pick the axes, rather, you feel worse. I think you you can notably feel generally that you're less effective. Obviously, especially if you're using cryo. But even with the other ones, it's a, you know you you struggle to do some things right. Um, Unless you have the surge pump, then it doesn't really, you don't really feel it as much, which is the point. Um, pump, if, you're, if you're, if you're not using uh, the shredders, you don't really feel that worse off. It's just when you use the shredders, you feel so much <laughs> more powerful than the other grenades, yes. right? It, it, you, it is literally, you can just exist and nothing can touch you at all ever. And you don't have to put any effort into it um, at all, um, including, you know, your 
uh, sentries and maybe a Steve and fucking, I don't know, you know, the whole summoner build, which uh, I quite enjoy uh, mm-hmm. because it uses shredders, so it's easy. <laughs> but yeah, it is. This was our tier list, our grenade tier list. Classic. Um, Classic barrel vision form. I feel like we haven't done a tier this this long in a while because we, well, I mean, the weapons, so we split that up a lot. And yeah, this is obviously quite long. Uh, but I don't think we could have split it up. I don't think we would have wanted to split it up. Um, no. Um, want to, but... There it is. Yeah, and I, I think, you know, I think there are some things people might have an issue with, but I think I, I think people will agree on the S's and D's, to be honest with you. Um, I really hope people, so. People, some people might think more things should have been in there. Like, people would be like, Hitch, you didn't see? Or, like, you know, Cryo is an A. Um, I do think no one will want to take out anything that's already there. Um, so yeah, uh, but we'll see, shall we? Do we do you want to post that to the Reddit? Could we, we could give that a try? The, the, t- uh, the, the list itself, yeah, uh, yeah, sure. No, what they I'll hate, no, uh, they'll, they'll fuck, they'll hate, they hate us. <laughs> I'll do it if you want. Uh, they hate me. <laughs> That's actually not true. I've been actually having a good streak on Reddit recently. I've been a, a and hero I don't for that, people. Uh, what? We... Well, no, you oh. can't though because not if you post the list. Exactly. Um, but if I post the list, then your streak will stay up. Oh, I thought you said you want to break it. No, I said I I, I won't do that. Do you? <laughs> ah! <laughs> or I'll I, I don't know what I said. What is? Uh, let's wrap this up before my internet goes again, shall we? <laughs> oh my god! No, no, let's wait for your internet to go again. That could be a little while now, or like right now. The Ripper kind of looks like a burger. The Ripper is uh, a mighty chap. I don't know. I I, I wish I could enjoy the Ripper more. Um, Obviously, when I saw it in the thing, I was like, oh, fuck yeah. Um, And I know why. It's because when they used it, it looked good. They used it in the nice situations that it resides in. I mean, I was like, fuck yeah, because I literally predicted every single grenade. Um... (laughs) Oh yeah, there were like twenty plus out there. That's so not the. Po- that's hardly the point. That's hardly uh, the point. Uh, I, 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 all I was, all I admit is that I, we did. Boomerang was like least suspected melee grade. Oh, that's and, true. And that, that was like it out the gate. And we were like, what? <laughs> um, um, right, oh, I'm gonna try and find this. I don't know where it is. Hey guys, hey up! We're just want. wrapping up now. Um, <laughs> oh. Do you want us to run through the uh, the newest weapons, uh, newest grenades rather? Uh, newest grenades. Oh, well, I guess first of all, boomerang. Where would you put it? Um, B. B. Thought you quite. Yeah, you guys it. probably put it C. No, we put yeah. it in A. Tom, can you not see the? Put it in A. Yeah. No, we can't see it. Oh, we can't see it. Sorry. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, we put it in A. I mean, it's it's so. I mean, it, right. It's just. I don't know. It's weird. It's a very, very weird grenade. Um, and but it, it's strong. You can't argue with its pick rate at the very least, right? Uh, enough people see enough value in it, and we can see it too. In all fairness, Harry can definitely see it. I can. I don't particularly like it that much um but i can it's not hard to use right it's, it's, it's not hard to use it's got that for it um, i think it's i think it's good but um but what all right thanks for watching everyone um if you enjoyed this better options for the grenade i think it's better options scouts like that better options being what cryo yeah i have I'm not sure. I, don't, I think I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, if, I don't know anything anymore. <laughs> well, I, think I, genuinely, I, think, I think it's just good. I feel like I did a genuinely good job at explaining why it's good, and that's why I think it's good. <laughs> so the boomerang <laughs> also gains the bu- buff to electric damage buff, right? Which uh, yeah, that's that's, that's part. Nice. I think that's partly why the electricity is there. Um, yeah. it's half of it. Yeah, I mean, because right. neither half of why the electricity is there is damage. Right? It, half of yeah. it is to allow for those bonuses, the other half is to 
um, stop things that can't be stunned. <laughs> Jesse doesn't really work, but well. Yeah. Alright. What a silly um, goose. Have you even used any of the other uh, recent grenades that you can think of? Yeah. Yeah, lead burster. I hate it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. T. Okay. Um. Uh. Uh. Sla- uh. Not slashes. Swa- uh. Not swarmers. Shredders. Um. Shredders. There we go. A. Uh. A or S. Mate, probably S. Actually, to be honest, they're so fucking like easy. At how good they are. Like you literally just press grenade button and now everything dies yeah pretty much this guy gets it because <laughs> i i think plasma burst is more effective at damage but for ease of use it's just broken um and spring loaded ripper i don't like it yeah that's pretty oh, much my there's tom's well. nuance like, to take don't like it. Don't like it at all. Don't, Don't like, like it. it. Bit sucky to me, that. Bit, bit sucky. <laughs> okay, all right, we're done here, guys. Okay. Um... <laughs> oh, dear. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to um, um, uh, right. PP Tom's house, because he has docked himself on this channel before. Don't so go telling people that. <laughs> He doesn't care. <laughs> doesn't mean you should do it. You're right. Yeah. What's interesting, though, is right next to my house is Harry's. It is true, actually. And if you come to Tom's house, he will tell you where Harry lives. Um, so... yeah. yeah, if you come to is my house. Six? I think it's number six. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right, bye.